All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, please inform me if you have any difficulty from your side regarding my voice. Uh, today we are back, and I am back home in the state after a long trip. Uh, and we did some good activities during this trip, and um, especially in Germany, we met uh, very good brothers. I'm very proud to meet them. They are wonderful people. Uh, brothers and sisters actually uh, and it was a very very successful trip and they were really very good to me very very wonderful people I don't know how to describe how nice those uh, 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 brothers are and sisters uh, during the time I was in Europe uh, you know I did many actually many broadcasts but it was not like consistent the same I used to do with I am home uh, for a very simple reason, sometimes the internet is not good at all. Uh, sometimes there's no internet at all. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, uh, I don't have a privacy to do so. However, we are back and we are ready uh, to do what we do. Uh, during the time I was away, I received many emails, especially in Facebook. And uh, people are asking where I am and, you know, etc. My friend, just stay in touch. The website in the front of your eyes, this is the website you can get updated always. Please subscribe there. And we have minds.com, which is minds.com slash Christian Prince. Uh, subscribe to that channel too, uh, to be updated always about what we are doing and where we are. Now, today our topic is why... Muslims do not understand Islam or why Muslims do not know anything about Islam You know, I hear always uh, people talking about uh, uh, They want to debate me and I don't know how a Muslim can even debate me about anything. I mean you don't even know who is your God Have you ever heard of a Muslim knows who is Allah? Have you ever heard even one Muslim knows how the father of Muhammad his name is Abdullah? Do you know what Abdullah mean? Abdullah mean the slave of Allah how Muhammad father he don't believe in Allah yet he is the slave of Allah and his name is a slave of Allah any Muslim knows even why they celebrate what they call Al-Adha they don't know they have no idea anyone knows where the name is coming from anyone know name know where the name Fatr coming from Anyone names know what the name Muhammad came from? Anyone knows anything about Islam? They don't know. All what they have for us, when you ask them a question, this is weak and this is da'if. Brother, this hadith is da'if. Well, the da'if was, this hadith was, was, was healthy for the last 14 centuries. Now it's da'if. The Quran is da'if. Muhammad is da'if. The Muslims are da'if. Islam is da'if to the point they want to, uh, to to make a law in the United Nations to stop anyone from insulting Islam. I mean, do you know how da'if this religion is? We behead the one who insult the Prophet. I mean, what kind of God and what kind of a Prophet need you to behead for him unless he is very da'if? And even the Quran says, Fight them, kill them, Allah punish them by your hands. I mean, what kind of God he cannot do it himself? Can't your God Allah kill me? Why he needed to kill me? Why he why he is teaching violence? Why he cannot do his own work? I mean, he is God. The Muslim they say to us, if Allah wants something, he said be, and it is going to be okay. Name for me one thing Allah he said be, and it was according to Islam. What is that? Adam took him long time to finish him to the point Adam he said to Allah. Finish me before the sun set, man. What B is going to be? So today we are going to discuss a very uh, unique topic, uh, as usual. But before we go there, you know, many of you send me questions, and it's very hard to catch up with every one of you. Like I open my Facebook because I cannot uh, log in from overseas, and I found many, uh, many people send me questions, and this is one of them about uh, uh, Mark. Uh, 618 uh, uh, sorry 1618 uh, let me open the the gospel and see together what is the question <clears throat> uh, 
uh, I'm not going to show the name of the person who sent the question, you know. Uh, uh, this is not really important. The important is the topic. He, he sent me that the Muslim, they say that uh, David Wood, he could not answer this question. And I don't know what is a big deal about, uh, uh, I mean, why you mentioned to me a name of uh, of somebody? I don't know if he can, uh, I mean, I don't know why he cannot answer the question, but this is what Muslims say. I, mean, I don't think he can, uh, he have difficulty to answer it. I think this is very easy and, you know, silly question. But anyway, uh, I will go there. Give me a second. Uh, just to uh, uh, when I, I'm trying to show all the verse in the screen the screen is not showing yet so don't think I am not showing I'm I'm just trying to get it ready all right look like we have to do more zoom out okay all right now I think it's working fine all right this is the question which the person who sent to me said that the Muslims said that David Wood, he could not answer it. I don't know if this is true or not. However, they shall take up a, a serpent and if they drink any of deadly thing, any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. My friend, we as a Christians believe and everybody knows that we believe that Jesus himself was killed. Is that true or not? Is that correct? Is it from the beginning of the teaching of Jesus speaking about himself and what will happen to himself, that he will die and how he will, they will kill him? And he prophesied about everything will happen to him, exactly happen what he said. So if the Lord of the Christian himself die, so how you try to translate or let us say to understand this verse in the way the Muslim they do it Don't be a foolish because the answer is very silly. Jesus himself died Do you understand what I'm saying? Jesus himself died the Christian all of them they say day and night he died he died he was killed not only he died he was killed so death death for us is not what this verse is saying it's not about if we if we drink poison if so if, if a snake bite me i will not die this is not about this this is about that jesus said it clearly whoever die and believe in me he will live nothing will hurt you hurt is not you know jesus he said i lay down my my my, my body nobody can take it from me for he's the lord however death is a must for every human being and you will be hurt all the apostles of jesus they're being killed crucified being given to as food to the animals as uh, many of the earlier christians so we as a christians we witness a lot of discrimination and death murder the people they died they sacrificed themselves in order to stay in the faith and until now nothing changed so if abdul he want to talk about it say this is the illiterate way this is his understanding because he's a foolish man if you want to debate me about my book you debate me about my belief not your belief this verse is not about that a snake cannot kill me and it's not about a lion cannot eat me and it's not about that I will not die and it's not about that we are you know we have a, like a bulletproof this is not what the verse is saying this is the verse speaking about the eternal life you will be given as Jesus he promised us all harm they can do to you will not affect you for they can kill the body but they cannot kill the spirit they cannot send you to hell death is temporary in a christianity and especially if it's a death is done or happened because you are defending your faith which means you die for very simple reason that you are a christian and as long as muslims they are taking this in literate way let us show them the literate way this is their prophet the prophet of the ajwa you're a prophet he said if any of you eat seven ajwa a day, eat what? Seven ajwa. A day. No poison is going to affect him. Allah Apostle said, he who eats seven ajwa dates every morning will not be affected by poison or magic on the day he eats them. 
who is the Muslim when I practice that for us? I will give you an opportunity to eat ten ajwa, not seven, my friend. Any Abdul want to do that? This is literate. This is about food. This is literally literate speech about literate behavior and act. It's about eating something, and if you ate that thing, nothing will hurt you. Well, I want to see the Muslim doing that. And the funny, Muhammad himself, he died by poison, and he was affected by magic. Isn't it funny that the one who issued this medic medicine, he himself was under the influence of both, and he died by poison? If we go in the hadith, we will see Muhammad saying the following. This is Aisha, the wife of Muhammad. She said, remember, this is Aisha, don't, not me. Huh? And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is not Daif. This is a very fat, 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 fat hadith. He said, the prophet in his element in which he died used to say oh Aisha, i still feel the pain caused by the food i ate at khaybar and at this time which mean at this moment at this time which mean at this moment which and this time i which mean at this moment i feel as if my orta is being cut off from the poison where is the ajwa What is the ajwa? Muhammad, did you forget to eat ajwa that day? I mean, what's wrong with you? You know you have many enemies. You know you killed a lot of people. You know somebody is going to try to kill you. Can't you, for the sake of Allah, leg, eat seven ajwa every morning? Muhammad died by poison, and his ajwa did not protect him. And not only that, the Prophet was bewitched was what bewitched which means now we have double uh, du double problem muhammad ajwa did not protect him from the poison and he did not protect him from being be bewitched <sighs> read with me please once once the prophet was bewitched so that he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he had not done guys i imagined myself a week ago in germany because somebody did to me black magic and during the imagination I saw myself walking with the brother Amir. And during the imagination, I saw myself walking with the brother Dennis. And through the imagination, I saw myself with many, many, many brothers. All of it was under black magic. And how they did the black magic to the prophet? They took some hair from him. This is why we see many people, they are trying to be bold. I mean, it's very risky. Somebody take your hair. That will be a problem. So the prophet who said, if you eat seven ajwa, no magic will affect you and no poison will kill you. He himself was affected by both. And look, if we say to a Muslim Abdul, you're a prophet, the bewitched prophet, he will be insulted. Is that true? If I say to a Muslim right now, your prophet is the bewitched prophet, are you going to be insulted? Yes, you will be insulted. It's in the front of your eyes. You, you Muslim says that, not me. How in the world you Muslim follow a man he was bewitched? And not only that, he imagined that he had done a thing which in fact he did not. What does that mean? He, he thought he went to the bathroom, but he did not? Was, what does that mean? He, he saw an angel, but it was not an angel. It was a cat. What does that mean? He heard Allah talking to him, but it was not Allah. It was the cow of the neighbor. What kind of, 
how I can follow a prophet? He imagined things they are not true. And how many things he imagined? And why Allah allows such a thing to happen to Muhammad? So my friend, when the Muslim they try to talk about something, obviously they have no idea what they are talking about. Oh, we have a caller. Hold on. Hello? 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 Yes. Who is with me? Is this a um, Christian prince? Yes, this is a Christian prince with you, and we are live on air, please. What do you want to say to us? Can you put yeah. the sound behind you? I don't know. You have a cartoon. You have something. You know, if you can put it down, please. Guys, can you just turn down for you go upstairs and watch? Mommies don't store our names in our hoodies. Okay, well, finish, you know, close your cartoon, please, and then call me. All right? Don't call me, please, if you don't have a good, you know, background behind you where people, they can hear you. Uh, and uh, we can understand. I'm not, I'm not interested really to receive a cartoon call, you know. Uh, you can go to a private room and you can call me from there. Uh, the second we say to Muslims that your prophet is a bewitched prophet, he get insulted, he get upset, and he start to crying. But it's it's you Muslims who believe in that. You follow a bewitched prophet. Any Muslim can tell me what bewitched mean. If I click right now at this word, and I search in the dictionary, and remember this is your Muslim translation, not mine. If I try to find the mean of the word bewitched, what bewitched mean? Let us see. Meaning. Bewitch. Bewitch. Cast a spell on, gain control over someone by magic. Muhammad was controlled by someone? Who is that one? Give me his name. I hope it is not the brother Zakir Naik. If we ask Zakir Naik, what do you mean, brother, when you say that the prophet was bewitched? What Zakir Naik will say? But the Tita. Did the person, his name is the Christian prince. And he always, he claimed that the prophet be with. He claimed? I don't claim. It's there. It's front of your eyes. Yes, hello there. Yes, my friend. How are you? Yes, how are you? I'm fine. What Are you a Muslim, uh, uh, Suleiman? Are you? Can, yes, can you hear me? Yes, we do. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Suleiman? Yes, uh, I've sent you a, a link earlier, uh, just inviting you to for a call. So, uh, yeah, um, I thought you might have seen my call. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you want to say to us? You called me for what reason, my friend? Yes, I said um, I've been told um, you uh, attacking the Quran, so I wanted to know what's um, what's the what you. No, no, know, no, my know. friend. I don't attack the Quran. I am. I don't attack the Quran at all. The Quran attack itself. Okay, so how how uh, what, what, what you what you've got? What what have you got? What are you calling? Okay, you know what? I want to tell you something. I'm not going no, to I'm ask just, you a question. Suleiman, uh, Suleiman, I'm but, not asking uh, you a question. I want you yeah. to tell me anything you are sure of. About Islam, anything you are sure of, choose the everything best. I'm sure. Like what? Give me one. Me give me one. Give me one. Everything. Okay, give me one. Anything you you tell me what I should. I don't. I don't, sure. don't want to pick up my my you know my questions to you because it might say this is difficult. I do not know it. I want you no, to I answer me about something you are very sure from. Choose yes, something we mind. talk about. I, I don't mind. You just uh, bring because I have, I've got um, yeah. What you got? Yeah. Okay. What you got? Okay. I don't understand. I'm saying, okay. tell me, tell what me, started, tell, tell me what, what are you sure about Islam from? Tell me one thing. Just tell me one thing. I ask you the question. This is my question. Tell me one thing you are sure from. Well, like I said, everything, everything we got. Okay, just Islam. give me one. I cannot have them all. They are very heavy. I, 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 I want sure. just one. For now, just one. I am sure. Okay. Uh, of what? Of what? Okay. Uh, what I'm sure of, you want me to? Hmm. Are you going? Are you here? Are you there? Yeah, I'm listening, my friend. I'm listening. Yeah, I'm saying that uh, <laughs> you believe in um, say there is one God, don't you? And I believe that. I believe there is one. You believe God in one God? God? Okay. Where in the Quran it says Allah is one God? 
Okay. So that, that that's the one point you want us to discuss, if that's okay. No, where where but where where in the Quran it says Allah is one? But the, the word Ahad does not mean one, my friend. Who taught you Arabic? Did you know Arabic? I don't know Arabic, but I know that one. You don't know Arabic, but you do not you know that one. I know How, what Ahad means, yes. Uh, who taught you that the word Ahad mean one? I know what Ahad means. Okay, how many times the word Ahad, how many times the word Ahad appear in the Quran? I don't have to know how many, but I know what Ahad means. First. Okay, the, the word Ahad appear in the Quran 23 times. In 23 okay, verses, going to do with, uh, meaning one. how come all of them, none of them, is coming in the Muslim translation as one? All of it coming as one off. It says, Kul hu Allah, say Allah is My friend, doesn't is. matter. I'm asking you the word Ahad. The word Ahad in the Quran. Uh, 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 well, let me read for you. Let me read for you as an example. One by one, one by one, one by one. Wama yu alimani min Ahadin. What the word Ahad here mean? Exactly the same word. And it's in, uh, no, uh, it does not mean one, my friend. Uh, it does not mean one. Let us see a translation. Your Muslim translation, chapter two, verse one o two. It says one off. Here we go. Okay, this I, is your Muslim I, translation. Read, 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 read. No, read with me. Read me. They, they, read, read, read with me. Read, my friend. Read, oh, let us hold on. Hold on. Let us read with you. Let us read. Let us read. Let us read together. All right. Okay. They will not teach anyone. Do you see it? Those, but they neither, but neither of these taught any one. So the word ahad is not one, is one off. And this is how it's uh, it's coming all over the Quran. So why you Muslims, you lie to yourself I, and you say ahad? You giving me say to you, if my you friend. Have time, all the words in the Quran using the word ahad. Let us choose a different one. Pick up another one. Forget about this one. I mean, maybe this one I'm lucky. Maybe the other one is going to be better. Chapter 2, verse number 36. Which translation you like, my friend? Yusuf Ali Shakir, Biktal, Muhsin. Which one you like? Hello? Are you there? Which one? Yes, I am. I am. No, I am here. You are there. Yeah. Now, which one you I'm like? So yeah, which one you like to, to, to use a translation? Chapter 2, verse 136. Yusuf Ali, Shakir, Biktal, Muhsin. You tell me that Ahad doesn't mean one, yeah? I'm not saying it's you, Muslim, saying that the translation is yours. No, I am asking you, you saying what? Well, yes, Ahad, Ahad does not mean, one, yes, it does not I mean, mean one, one, it's mean one off. So, what's your point? My point is the Quran never say that Allah is, is uh, that, that verse you, that verse you, can, you, you, you are saying to me, it says Allah is one of many. It, it didn't say that here. Yeah. It says that, that but by using the word Ahad, you just say that he is one of many. Okay, let me give you another example. Yeah. Huh? If mm -hmm. we go in the Quran. What's your example? If we go in the Quran, we will see mm -hmm. as an example here a verse saying that if Allah, he want to take a girlfriend to sleep with her, he will take one of his kind. What is the kind of Allah? If he is one and there is nothing like him. What, what is the kind of Allah? Do you have any idea? Yeah, you have to look at the context that is... is, is no problem, about. my friend. You tell me which interpretation you like me to read for you. Well, the one I've got, the one I've got here... Uh -huh. It says international. It's the international one I've got here. Okay, can you read for me the international? Can you send me the link too? Can you send me the link, please? For the, the international? You got international? No, no. I've got, uh, Are you going to read tafsir or translation? I've got the translation and... No and problem. You can read any translation you wish. This is not of my business, really. For me, for me, I want to know yeah. what this verse means. When Allah, he says, mm -hmm. that in that verse, as we see, chapter 21, verse number 17, لو أردنا أن لدنا إن كنا فاعلين. What? لدنا... Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I mean, 21 verse what? 21 verse number 17. Right, let me just, I'm trying to turn the pages to where. Hmm. 21 17. Yeah. Okay, I've, I've got here. 
if it had been our wish. Just put that light for me. I can't. Understand. On. Yes, what light? Good. So we, we, we can see how much you, you can understand. No problem, my friend. I'm, le I'm learning from you already. I learned a lot. Go ahead. Tell me what this verse means. That's up, that, that's up to that's up to him. If he knows that, he will say that. And what and what happened? What the, the meaning of this granted. verse, my friend? Don't waste my time. I'm asking you for the th for the third, granted. fourth time. What the verse mean, please? Well, you saying more? I'm saying more that you coming back to something else. So you're not gonna let me answer. You jump. My friend, up. I am. I am listening for you, and I'm waiting for your answer. What is the answer for this verse? What this verse mean? Go ahead. Yeah, the verse is saying. Did you say 17, 21, 17, right? 21 said, let me let me say it slow chapter yeah. 21 verse 17 yes yeah, so that's what the verse is saying hmm. if it had been our wish uh -huh. it had been our wish uh -huh. to take mm -hmm. to, to take a mm -hmm. a pass to take a pass Pass. What, what, my light is, what, yeah, my what light pass? is a bit. Uh, what pass me? Yeah. What pass me? Okay, say to have a pass. Okay, what What does that mean? Allah will take a pass. A pass? What, what pass? pass? What does that pass? Okay. Passport. We, we what What pass mean? Surely you have taken it. Yeah. From the things nearest to to us. Ah, yeah. Allah will take things from things nearest to us. That's what it says. Yeah. This yeah, is to take this what translation. To us. This is what translation is saying. That's what the translation okay, says. Okay, let yeah. me ask you. Allah will take. I thought Allah gave. Allah will take. I thought He is the Creator. It is one of yours. How the Creator will take? Take from who? Do you hear me, my friend? Oh, well, what is that? You said, and the translation you are reading. That Allah will take if He is the Creator, the Creator will take from who? Isn't He who give? Isn't it He who create? Allah will take from who? From the the, the verse is just uh, suggesting if they need the pass, they will take from. No problem, but when you say if That's I if, when I say I will take, it's mean I will take from what I don't have. No, from the righteous. That's from the righteous. Okay, Allah will take what from the righteous, please. Whatever, whatever it, it suggests in the verse, if you look no, no, what he will take verses, exactly oh. from the righteous, what he will do with them, those righteous, what he will do. Is it about sex? Then the previous verse just said, No, we should, we should have the truth against falsehood. My friend, what what does have to do with what does have to do with my question? I'm asking you. He will take. You said it from the righteous, right? I don't know where is the right. Do you see the word? Right? Talking about the past time. Do you see the word? What past time mean? Explain, explain to me. My English, time, my English is funny. What past there. time mean? What past time mean? You, you put your words there. My friend, what past time mean? I'm asking you. You are the one is explaining to me. I am you learning from you. You said, okay, you said I Allah will take a past time. What past time mean? My friend, uh, what past time mean? Past time. Must time mean Allah want to have fun with women? No, but it didn't say that here. You it put says it that. There. And here we go. It's in front of you. Uh, look at the screen with me. This is Tafsir Jalalain. It says, had we desired to find some diversion, that which provide diversion in the way of partner or a child, we would have found it with ourselves from among the beautiful eyed huris or the angels. So Allah want to have a woman to do what with her exactly? I will give you three choices. Allah will play card with the women. Allah will have sex with the women. Allah will play jumbo mambo with the women. Which what what Allah will do with the women? What this beautiful eyed women will do with Allah? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, what he so, will do? Uh, what you, you you're saying is talking about woman, yeah? It is about. It's in front. I'm not. I'm not the one saying that. This is a well, uh, This is your scholar, my friend. I can see this you. Is, now. No, no, you, see no, you. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Let me let me send the link, my friend. Let me send you the link. I will send you the link right right now to your Skype, so you can read it from your side. Is that okay? Is that fine? Yeah, I can see it there. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Let me let me send the link. Hold on. Uh, here we go, and here we go. 
and bingo here we go the link is is there with you please open it and tell me does it say that this is the official government website of the kingdom of jordan and this is not my link and this is not my translation and jalalain is not a christian a prince and jalalain is a very well known big name in islam as a scholar Allah want to take a girlfriend to have sex with her and he is saying he will take it from our self What is our self? If he wants is he going to have one doesn't matter. It's our exactly. self. It's so my, that, friend, that my, friend, my friend that, that my friend my friend my friend my friend He will take or not maybe at that time he said I will not my friend Maybe at that time he said if we have a desire which mean if he have a desire maybe now he have he's a desire now, He's trying to say that was my, no friend, my friend my friend no problem. No problem. But, but no problem. No problem He's got no we don't desire. have a desire, but he said he will take a partner from ourselves. Allah will partner with ourselves. Explain that to me yeah, If it is that's rhetorical to tell you he's got my no friend it doesn't matter he, he did or said. not He said ourselves. he will partner with yeah. ourselves. Who is the yeah, ourself? If there was, if there was no, my friend, he named them. He says there, he says there, who is the ourself? It says the black eyed women, they are women or the angels. There is no need for there was no need for that. my friend. There's no, there is no need, that. no, it doesn't matter. The desire will not change anything. Let us say, I will, let, me let me make it simple for you. Let me make it simple for you. If what I have a mean? desire to go to the beach, I will take my girlfriend with me, but I don't have a girlfriend now because I didn't have desire. That will not change the fact. That I just said I can have a girlfriend, and yeah, I just say, said say, from I'm ourselves. You, I don't. I will not take from a human being. Uh, if you understand, is, is the beautiful eyed women? Is is the beautiful? The is okay. Are are you saying to us? No are you saying to us? Allah will have sex with none a human being. The beautiful eyed women. Those are a human or not a human being? If he was. So I don't see so this if he was no okay, sense to bring are you up. saying to me that Allah is a stupid he say things you don't mean what is the point no, of saying because, if because I want I will take it from the women but it's stupid. is it is if this if he does not my friend it. my friend you should not associate that. why you Allah say saying that. why Allah saying that those black-eyed women are ourselves this is the question he said okay. ourselves so he, he, he knows what he says that Okay, no, no, you you answer me. I mean, what do you mean he knows? He, he knows so nothing. He knows what he says. What do you mean he knows? You explain to me. You are the Muslim. I am a Hindu. That, I am a, I am said. a Hindu from India, and you are a Muslim from Pakistan. You explain to me. You explain to me when Allah He says, "I will take a woman from ourselves to be a partner with me." If I have a desire, which means yeah, there is a woman. What what we learn from this? Listen, listen. What we learn? What we learn from this, Abdul? Listen, Abdul. What we learn from this? That Allah don't have a desire, no problem. But we learn too that Allah have, He says, He call Himself as ourself, and He will take partner from ourself, which means the partner cannot be Himself, for it is ourself, and this partner is a woman. So how that can be possible? How because ourself? The, the, I cannot see what you cannot see from this. It is clear that He's got no desire. There's no need for it to tell you. If I'm not talking about the desire, who care about the desire, my friend? I have, I have. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, I have a nose. I have no desire to touch it. This is, will not change the fact that I have a nose. So now Allah, he says, he have ourself. And if you want to take from ourself a partner, the partner will be from who? From the ourself. Okay. Yeah, what is that partner? What is that partner which Allah call ourself is women? So how it Allah was, is one? How was, Allah is one? How Allah is one of his yeah. kind? There's no yes. kind like him. Then he says and that women no like are his that. kind. The, the answer is there in the, in the as you can read it yourself if there was a need for it but uh, who care about the need or not I I, i'm not talking about the need my friend my friend i don't care about i'm not talking about uh, uh, abdul 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 abdul, 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 abdul listen listen, listen i have a i have a donkey i have a donkey but i do not need it my friend my friend my friend my friend my friend i don't care if you have a need or not he's just said if he want to take a partner he will take it from who he will take it from ourselves. From okay, himself. who is ourselves? The yeah. black-eyed women. So, how the black-eyed women became ourselves in the description? Explain to me. That's the description. He knows what he what, what he, he can. Uh, so he knows, but you do not know. He knows what he can. No, create. no. You are he, saying. He knew, you are saying. You are saying. He knows, which means Allah knows best, and you have no idea what he meant. Is that what you are saying? 
he knows this and he's telling you that no no, no. no i'm asking you what he meant then you are saying to me he knows this is not the question this is not the question about what he knows i do listen i'm asking you i can do the same my friend my friend i'm asking you 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 said to me ask me any question you want you are the one who make a challenge and now i'm asking you what ourselves mean you said allah knows so what is the answer i've just said to you he knows if he was going to have but it was i don't care i don't, don't care if so he knows or not i'm not asking you i'm not asking your dead me. allah to answer me i'm asking you you are the one is alive your god is not it never exists so i'm asking you when allah he said ourself if he is only one how he say ourself and the partner from the ourself and who is the partner it's a woman how that can be and it's not only a woman he said the beautiful eyed hories which means there are a bunch of them so how those are ourselves explain to me I have just explained it. You did not. You did not. You it said to me, all what you said, no all, all what you said to me, what if you have a you desire, who cares if you have a desire? Country. My friend, I have hummus in my refrigerator, but I have no desire to eat it. But that will not change there the fact no, no that I have there's a hummus. There was no desire. My friend, he have desire or not? That's not my business. He just said so that he, he just he just described ourselves that they are women. Like I said, he has created he has created man and woman. So how he so say? He says, how? Uh, thank you very much. How he is the one who created them, and he says ourselves. He created himself too. Yeah, but but you have to understand, it does not work by him. It does not work alone. He has prophet. He has his angels. My friend, what does that have to do with this? When I say from ourselves, it's mean you are. You know, I cannot count donkeys with the chickens. Do you understand that? So no. if I say if I say from ourself and then I says and ourself is five chickens It's mean I am a chicken too. You, you, you can put my friend he does if, not when you alone. count he yourself to, one of a group angels. when so you count No, no when you count when you count going, yourself Allah that. Allah he count himself. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Allah want to take a partner from the women what he would do with the women Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Allah Allah if you want to take a partner He will take it from the women what he would do with them exactly if he was going to have a partner. okay what he would do if 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 let us say if if but if. why can we say if he does not okay need. no problem no problem let us say with the if now if 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 my friend okay he did not my friend it doesn't matter now if he got he one if 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 need. what he will do with her i will give you three choices he will play with her hide and seek he will have sex with her or he will play play and strip which one he would do no, no, because he does not have a need for it. What do you mean he don't have a need? Obviously, he, he have a need. No need. He just said, if you want to have a child, he cannot have a child unless he no, have a woman. Yeah, but you have no need. That's what he's saying. He's got no. My need. friend, he have a need. He have a need. Okay, hold on, hold on. Other, other verse, Lord. other verse in the Quran confirm that Allah have a need, and he cannot he have, have a child. Have a hold on, hold on. Did Allah in the Quran says how I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? Did he say that? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what does that mean? Explain to me. Allah is saying again. He's telling you he hasn't got a son. No, he is saying to me he cannot have a son because he don't have a girlfriend. Because he don't need one. Because he, my friend, no, no, no. This is not a saying. Read with me carefully. It I, says I, 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 it's it, my friend. Listen, 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 listen. I... Listen, listen. It says how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend, right? So Allah he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. If we connect yeah, this, okay. if we can, okay, let us connect, let us connect this verse with the other verse, chapter 21. Chapter 21, he says, if we want to have a woman to make a son, then we will choose them from the black eyed hoories. <laughs> and he no, called I had you try and he, I'm, I'm there, not the one who's saying that it's in the front of you my friend don't have a need for it my friend my friend my, my, my friend no, would have a son because he does not have. it is clear read read with me read with me please to, it says it says read with me read, read, with, me, read with me it says okay. to him is due the primal origin of the heavens and the earth how can he have a son when he has no concert yeah do you believe in that that's what he says. Okay. Do you do you do you Muslims call Allah Almighty? Yeah, it's Almighty. What Almighty yeah. mean? Yeah. What Almighty? What mean? do you call him? What do you call him? No, no, I'm not. Don't ask me a question by the question. I'm asking you. you. What do you mean? What, what do you mean as a Almighty for me what is some is some is someone he can almighty? do everything. Almighty is someone is capable of doing anything. Allah yes. is Almighty. Within, with, within His Majesty. Not for my friend. Allah what is Almighty or not? Allah is Almighty. He cannot do anything but what befits okay. His glory. But He just said, He just said, He cannot have a son unless He have a girlfriend. Did He say yes. that? Yes. Okay. So He cannot be Almighty. 
Because he's he not because he can only do what befits him. No, my friend, he's just said and you agreed that he cannot have a son unless he have a woman. This is me. Because he does not need one. No, no, my friend, he cannot. He said here in the verse in front of you, how can he have a son? My friend, my friend, you are not you don't understand your Quran in English, in Arabic, in your language. What's wrong with you? It says okay, read with me carefully. Let, let us go, let us go step, let us go step by step. It says, How can he? What how can he mean? You have in difficulties English. How can it? What the word can cannot. mean? What the word can? What the word? I, when I say when I say how can? I'm questioning the ability. Is that correct? You are questioning what? The ability. I don't think he's questioning the ability. He's questioning why should he? No, he didn't say that. Did he say why I should? Why okay, show me why. What, then, if if he is saying, my friend, did he say? Did he say why should I? Why should he did not say that. He said can, how can he? He did not why say how should I? I are you trying to correct Allah in the Arabic language are you trying to correct him Allah in the Arabic says how can he so Allah questioning his ability saying how can I uh, listen 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 everybody everybody is laughing at your logic this is this is a logic for a human being me myself I am single so if you ask me now listen listen Abdul Abdul listen Abdul I like you I like you honestly Abdul you are the one that you are the best of everything you are the best of your kind Abdul listen carefully listen carefully this is something can be said by a human being a human being cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend however remember that your God Allah here proved that he cannot be the God of Mary because Mary she don't have a boyfriend yet she have a son no, but that's not what the verse says. The verse he says he's Lord. The verse he's saying here, how he can he listen? Lord. Listen, listen. He, 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 he just he's said, Lord. he just he's said, he just said, how and can he have God a son? If he what, what is the reason for him? He cannot have a son. What is the reason he cannot have a son? Because he don't have a girlfriend. So, what is the condition? The what is the condition for Allah to have a son? Is to have a girlfriend. That's mean Allah is a man like me and you. But this no, is not, not, and this is cannot be the God of Mary because Mary she didn't have a boyfriend yet she have a son. Explain how this happened. How Allah, how God. Allah cannot have a son without having a girlfriend, and how Mary exactly. can have because a son without having a boyfriend. That's not his son. What? He's not his girlfriend, not this Jesus' his son, Biolog my biological son. But uh, what's what? What do you mean? Jesus, Jesus is son of who? Because you said he's a begotten, and when you said a begotten, my friend, a don't, don't change the topic. Jesus, son of who? I did not change. I I'm asking change. you, Jesus, son of who? Why did Mary Jesus, son? Jesus, son of who? Who is the father of Jesus? He hasn't got a father. Okay, Allah saying he cannot have a son like Jesus unless he have a wife. He's dead because he hasn't got a son. It doesn't matter. Still, he cannot have Jesus he unless he has a wife. Cannot, My friend, you, you are going in circle. It's everybody is not, everybody is dying from laughing. You are saying that Jesus cannot be the son of Allah because not, Allah don't have a girlfriend. Allah in the Quran, He Himself, not me saying, "How I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend?" Okay, 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 okay. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Why Allah, according to this verse, He don't have a son? According to this verse, why? He says he cannot have a son because everything belongs to him. It's this is not the clear. question. This is not the question. The question there it says why. Well, it says there why. Don't lie. It says there how can he have a son when he has no girlfriend? My friend, my friend, my friend. Let me call Zach and Nike for you. Let me, should, should I call Zach and Nike for you? Should I call Zach and Nike for you? What's wrong with you? In the verse, why Allah he mentioned? Why Allah he mentioned? How can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Why he mentioned that? But why you bring it Zach and Ike yeah? Because he's smarter than you. No, you're not talking about smartness yeah. We're talking about what we have. Okay, Allah here is he smart or is stupid. Why son, Allah he mentioned? Why Allah he mentioned? All, all what Allah, all what Allah need to say. I don't have a son, and that's it. It's over. Why he yeah. mentioned? I don't have a girlfriend. Do the Christian believe he's that God have a girlfriend? Listen, listen. Do the Christian believe that God have a girlfriend? Yeah. Do the Christians answer? Allah is answering who? Allah is answering who here? The Christian? No, because the Christian don't believe. Abdul, you are not answering. You are talking to yourself. Do the Christian believe that God had a girlfriend? No. So Allah here is answering who? Maybe you don't believe that. Allah answering who? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Allah answering who? Who is the one who believe? My friend, who is the one who believe Allah have a son? Who is the one believe Allah has a son? 
Only you, you Christians? My friend, we don't believe in Allah anyway. What's Allah? Yeah, it's only you that believe that. My friend, answer the question. Allah here is answering who? When he say, how I can have a son and not have a girlfriend, he's answering who? He's answering you that making the allegation that they thank you very much you just approve you just approve that allah is a stupid god he can't be god because the christian don't believe that god have a son he because believe, you have a girlfriend you believe that you just said that we don't believe in that believe that show me one you verse in the that. bible says show me one christian believe that god have sex with mary and they have a son his name is jesus okay then you go through the verse the way you go they say it says my friend don't play games don't play games all of oh, everybody in the world there's more than you, three billion you know, christians there's more than three billion a christian in this earth none of them believe none of them believe that god have a wife so when allah he says that he just get himself busted my friend my friend my friend it's a sexual absolutely sexual it is sexual allah in the quran how allah in the quran he made mere britain it by his words by what? By his word. Where? Where it says that? By his word. Show me the verse. As I know, Allah he blew in her vagina. He didn't say that. He didn't blow. He said by his word. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. It okay, says, let us go to the Quran. By his word. Where did he say that? Okay. He blew uh, okay, let us see. والتي أحسنت فرجها فنفخنا فيها من روحنا. شاطر. Okay, no, no problem. We have many chapters, not only one, my friend. ومريم ومريم ابنة عمران التي أحسنت فرجها فنفخنا فيه من روحنا. Chapter sixty six, verse number twelve. فنفخت فيه من روحي. Yeah, فنفخت. Yeah, فنفخت. What نفخت mean? What نف What نفخت mean? Well, no fact to fear means a blue, a blue life into him. A blue life in the vagina? Is that what he said? He okay, so you are saying now, okay, you are saying now that something See, came from the mouth of Allah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You are saying something came from the mouth of Allah. Hold on, let us explain. Let us explain the image. You just said that Allah, he blows something from his mouth. My friend, let me talk, let me talk. You will talk. You are saying okay. Allah he blows something from his mouth and that thing go inside the vagina of Mary. It Explain. Say it says that. It says he say that. It says no, 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 no. Let's look and let's read it together. Yeah. Okay, go so ahead. He says he blew, he blew, he blew um, Allah Akbar. What Allah Akbar mean? You tell me. <laughs> That's funny. How are you Muslim? You say Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar from what? Allah Akbar from what? It's funny for you, don't you? Uh, it's funny because how you can compare God to me or someone when you say Akbar, it's mean you are comparing him to someone else. You cannot compare so you, God. You look, you look, you look. My friend, do you know what Akbar mean? Do you know Akbar mean? Do you know what Akbar mean in English? Let me teach you something. In English, you say. In English, you say. In English, you say. Small, smaller, small, smaller. Now you are saying to me, Allah is bigger. Allah is bigger from who? He's the greatest. From who? From anything, everything. How you can compare him to anything if he's the creator? That's, that's a stupid. That's, that, that's exactly why he says. No, you are the you one who compare him. Compare him. How you say? How you say he is bigger if he is the creator? You compare that's between two things, my friend. Muslims are uh, Muslims are, uh, are are really crazy people. No, I can compare the word Akbar. The word Akbar mean bigger. I can compare between two chickens. I cannot compare between the Creator and the chicken. Are you comparing? Are you comparing Allah? Into his womanhood. Where did he say that? It says in the front of you. What what the word Farjah mean? What, what where it is? I've asked you, give me the verse. What the word farjaha? I just gave you the verse. I just read it for you. If you don't know Arabic, it's your business. No, I didn't and I gave you the verse. Yeah, Chapter no, six. Okay, let me say it to you slow. Chapter yeah, 66, verse number 12. Chapter 56. 66. Oh, 66. Okay. Verse number 12. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Okay, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar from what? No, no, no one have an idea. The second you, you compare Allah, idea, the second you know you Allah Akbar from idea. chicken. Let me ask you, Allah yes, Akbar from the chicken. Words? Allah Akbar from the chicken. Sixty-six. Is he, is he Akbar from the chicken? <laughs> Are you gonna give me that? Sixty-six words. Sixty-six to twelve, my friend. How many times I need to repeat that? <laughs> Don't 
don't forget guys to, to invite your friends and tomorrow today uh, Santa Claus is coming by and he is going to blow in the vagina but this is a Muslim Santa Claus his name is Allah he created Jesus by blowing something from his mouth went and fly all the way to her vagina isn't it that amazing he said number 12 yeah my friend are you okay number 12 is saying here mm. as for those who fear mm. who fear the lord and sin for them is forgiveness and a great reward my friend what are you reading are you reading from the book of uh, 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 uh Khan? chapter 66 <laughs> verse number 12 yeah, that's 667 sorry it says 66 12. Ah, okay it's okay take your time no problem it's coming And many daughters of the of Imran. Mm. Is that the one, yeah? Mm. And many <coughs> daughters of Imran who who guarded. Mm. Got what? Sorry, my my light is a bit dark. Where by my screen. Uh, and Mary, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity, uh, and we breathe hmm. intuition. We they breathe. They breathe where? Intuition. What, what? We breathe. Yeah. Intuition. Tension. What tension mean? What? 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 What does that mean? What breathe? I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. Okay. We we breathe intuition, and was one but of the devout. What intuition mean? I'm gonna check. I don't know. I don't know that word intuition. Ancient, that's new for me. You know, in my village, yes. we, don't, we did not learn yeah, I this don't, word. I don't, I don't know what it means. Let me see if I could find That is new. Do you need to call Zachary Naik? Um, I think it wasn't even saying it should say it would bro into her into, body. Into her body. Okay, where yeah, into, into her body? Her where, body of where, our what, spirit. what does that mean? Where into her body? Where where is the word into her body in the Arabic? It says farjua. What farj mean? This is the interpretation I have here. My friend, what farj mean? It says blow into her body. My friend, what farj mean? Farj mean vagina. Is that correct? I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, what do you mean you do not mean? know? But this is the. the I don't well, know. Okay, let us see. I'm going to go. Have, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I I will go right now to the hadith, and I will type the word farj, and we will see what the Muslim, uh, you know, uh, mean by that. Okay. Here we go. This is your prophet mm -hmm. speaking. You see, I, I will use Muslim translation. Uh -huh. Let us see. Here we go. You see the word farj in Arabic in front of you? Do you see the word farj? Yeah, 
Here we go. This is the word for it. It's on the screen. Look at the screen. It says, Okay. Here the translation. Allah Messenger poured water over his penis and wash it. And then he struck his hand against the earth. So what the word farj mean? For the man, it mean a penis. For the women, obviously, they don't have penis as, as I remember. So the word farj, my friend, mean vagina for the women. The word farj for the man mean the penis. Okay, so the Quran used the word farj. So Allah, he blow into her farj. So he Allah, he not blow into her body, but the Muslims are shy to translate the word vagina. So they said, Allah, he, he breathed into her vagina. How Allah he do that? He could not make Jesus by saying a word. Why he is breathing anyway? Aren't you the one who says Allah he, he do things by his word? Obviously here he did not do a word. He breathed. Oof, oof, yeah, oof, of course he does only be, No, no, my friend. Let me, let, by, me by breath, by, let, by, let me by tell words. you. Let me tell you what what he do. He he do this. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. What is the that, word? That's, that's you say to me, you say to me, you say to me, Allah, He create by His words. Allah create by His words. So this is a, was a lie. That was a lie. Allah, He create by breathing into a vagina. It's by words. What is the word? Show me the word. It says, we blow. Okay, is the word blow? Is the word blow? Is a word? But he used the same, he used the same word when he made, when, when, when he made Adam. No, he no. He, yes, he, 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 he did not. He, so, so he did not. So my friend, thank you very much. He did not make Adam by saying to him, "Be," and he was. He made a statues, and then he fashioned him in the shape of a man, and yes. then and, and then and he breathe. blow. Okay, so thank you very much. So now you admitted that Allah He did the same. You are the one who said that word. Did the same with Adam. How Allah created Adam? Explain to me. He breathed. He breathed. Inside. Thank you very much, guys. Did, did Mr. Suleiman say breathe? So witness yes. with me. He said, Allah breathe. Allah breathe into Mary. Okay. Where Allah breathe into Mary? Explain to me. Exactly. So you tell me where he where? breathed into Adam. It says, it's, Adam. It's, no, it says we are talking about Bible. Mary and now. We are Adam talking about Adam Mary. The Quran, my friend, my friend, my friend, the Quran no, says no, where? The Quran says, I'm not the one. Abdul, Adam shut up, shut up. Man. Shut up. Shut up. The Quran no, saying that, my friend, the Quran saying, Farjaha, not me. What's wrong with you? So if Allah, if Allah said Farjaha, it's mean he is saying he blow into her vagina. So don't ask me where. The Quran says so. So explain to me why your God Allah did such a thing. Why he breathed? Why he breathed? Why he breathed into her vagina to create Jesus? Why did he breathe? What? Where did he breathe? Breathe in Adam. I don't know. Maybe he's in his ass. You tell me. So you you don't show me reference. Show me reference. Don't tell me where. You tell me. I showed you the verse in the Quran says Farja. Farja mean a vagina. Show me. Show me about my friend. My friend. Show me what he did to Adam. I don't know. Maybe he did it in his ass. I don't know. You tell me. So this is what I'm saying to him. My friend. He breathed to Adam, and Adam had. No, 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 no. The the verse. The different is the verse here says the word Farjaha. We breathe, breathe into it. Breathe into he, into her. This is it. This is no, it doesn't say into her, into my her. friend. Let me show you the Arabic. It's not my fault if you don't speak Arabic. It says we okay. breathe into it. Into it. He breathe into her. Into it. So okay, show me the word, yeah, my friend. My friend, show me the word her, and I will commit suicide like Muhammad right now. You don't. You don't. You don't if you do that, you do it at your Show me. Detriment. Show me where it says into her. And I will jump from the 70, so 70 floor. You, you are the only one that knows the thing. My friend, it says, it says in the front of my so eyes, you, stop, you stop, that or you leave stop playing games. Stop, stop, example, stop, example, stop said, playing said, games. Adam, said, like my friend, my friend, he show me. Abdul, Abdul, so that, that, Abdul, that I don't have time for stupid kids. Either you show me or you shut up. Show me where it says he brewed into her. Show me the word. Where is the word her? It is here. Show me. I, I've given you the, the, the show. The, the no, don't tell me. Don't tell me it is here. What is okay? What is the word in Arabic? Show me. It says he breathed into her. Where? That's it. What is the word? It says well, what, well, is the word? Well, what is the word? Uh, what is the word? What is the? Oh, 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 oh. Let me show it. Okay, Abdul. Farjaha. 
فرجها وي شو اي شو ذا بروف ذات وورد فرج مين فجانا دو يو اجري ذات وورد فرج مين فجانا يس اور نو اه نو يو سبيك عربي سدنلي يو ار ريدين ان اوردو تراين تو ميك يور سيلف يو سبيك عربي دو يو نوت نو عربي نو شو مي وير از ذا وورد وير از ذا وورد ها اي وان تو سي ات شو مي اتس ان ذا سكرين شو مي ويتش وان جيت مي باستد ان فرونت اوف ايفربودي اي وان تو جيت مي باستد شو مي ذا وورد ها This this is what it's saying here. Where where? Show me the, the word. Don't, it, stop yeah, saying to me. This what it says in the front of me. It says "fanafakhna fi 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 If we go, if you go get my book, Allah and sex, you will find that you Muslims, not me, believe that Allah, he made Mary vagina horny. And by doing that, by breathing, he made the sperm which Allah created inside her move and make Mary pregnant. This is what you believe. And it's in my book. And the reference is there. All the proofs is there from your books. And I can show it right now, right here in the screen. Who is the Muslim Abdul want to challenge me to show you that this is what you Muslims believe? That your God Allah made Mary vagina horny. And this is how he created Jesus. Who there? A bunch of liars. When Allah, he says, How can he have a son? He is a questioning his ability. He cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. And that is a clear proof that Allah cannot be the God of Mary. For the God of Mary, he did not have a problem to have Mary get a breadnet without having a boyfriend. But the funny God of Islam, he cannot make himself having a son. without having a girlfriend using the logic of a human being for he is a false god yes Suleiman, are you going to show me where it says her Did, uh, are, you, are you running away are you going to show me or you will shut up are you running away you are the one is running away i have no time to yeah. waste many well, people talking, you just up. No, I, I, i have not nothing to say more i showed you the word okay, in the front of okay, you okay, either okay, you shut me up listen I, listen salman listen listen i don't have time for kids listen Either you show me where it says that or you shut up. The, the text in I've front of you. you. I've just given you. Where? Here. Show so me. Re says, read it for nah, me. This is interpretation. Read it for me. Read it for me. Read it for me. The Arabic in the front of me. You can run away. It says, uh, uh, fihi. Shut up and get lost. Get lost. Don't call me again. I have no time for kids. The Arabic in the front of me is so clear. It says, fanafakhna fihi. Fihi what? It goes back to farjaha. As simple as that. In the beginning, you deny that farjaha mean vagina. We got you busted. We showed you the same word your prophet is speaking about the cleaning his penis. MashaAllah, what a prophet. Speaking loud and telling everybody and showing everybody how he cleaned his penis. I hope and I'm so glad that in the time of Muhammad, there was no web camera. Otherwise, we will see Muhammad now teaching us how to clean our penis life on cam. So the word faraj, Proven to be a vagina. Allah breathe where? Fihi. Fihi what? Farjaha. What farjaha? A vagina. So where is the word of Allah? You see the Muslim, they lie to themselves. They fool themselves. They say Allah, if he want he, he, to create something or to do something, he say B. They cannot show us one thing created by Allah saying B. Hey, brother Amir, how are you? Hello? Amir, do you hear me? Hello? Okay, call me back, Amir. I don't hear you. Try again, please. Hello? Hello. Mm, I don't know what's the problem. 
uh, Amir, restart your Skype, close the app, and restart it again, and try to call me again, please. Look like it's muted by something else. Maybe maybe because you are running to the two program at the same time. Maybe YouTube. Uh, if you are using the phone, I'm not sure what are you doing. Uh, try to close one. If your mic, maybe your mic is occupied with different program already. I think maybe uh, he's doing live broadcast. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't hear you. A big fat lie. I will show you how Allah created Adam. I will show you how Allah created Adam. Very funny story. Allah created Adam Friday afternoon, and he did not say to him the word be. Never. If we go in the hadith, Or let us see if we go in, let us go to the Quran first if we go in the Quran we will find such a funny verse it says وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا we need to change it to Arabic وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا what does that mean Uh, Amir, send you a link for what? Uh, what I don't understand. Send you a link for what? Uh, to join my uh, broadcast, you mean? Just call in Skype. Call in Skype. I don't know. Uh, let us see how I can do that. I don't know if I can. If he's talking about. Uh, uh, hold on, Amir. Hold on. Okay. How we can do that? Invite, send you a link. Link, links. Yeah, I don't see. Uh, I don't. I don't know really how to do this uh, thing here. Let us see. Uh, view more apps. Cameraman. I'm not sure how we can do. I don't know what. Uh, what I don't know what link. Uh, you want link for what, Amir? Tell me, please, in the text. You want link for the hadith. You want link for YouTube. I'm not sure. Uh, guys, if we go, if we go to this chapter, chapter 17, verse number 11, chapter 17, verse number 11, and then we go to the interpretation for this verse. And remember, I'm not the one is explaining to you. This is the Muslim Abdul, and this is what they believe. 1711 and we will go to the Muslims scholar which they like very much Let us see Ibn Kathir And this is their website not my website All right Wa kana al-insanu ajula Interpretation of Ibn Kathir remember this is not me let me show it to you on the screen. All right. Now you see the screen. This is Ibn Kathir. This is the Muslim website. I have nothing to do with it. Not my translation, not my text. It says, A man is ever hasty. Salman al Farisi and Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad. Salman al Farisi, which means Salman the Persian, who Muhammad stole tons of his stories from this guy. Hello? Hello? Hey, Amir. How are you, brother? Uh, mute, mute YouTube, please. If you can mute YouTube so you wouldn't have double uh, voice. All right. So, okay. Now I hear you. All right. Did, did you hear this uh, This guy? He's saying that the word farjaha does not mean vagina. Yeah. And he, he failed to show uh, me. Very good. He was ashamed to, uh, yeah, you know. to tell the truth, you know? I mean, I'm showing it in the front of him in the screen. All what I'm asking him, show me the, show me what it says that, show me what, what it says that, and what it's mean he breathed into her body. Where in her body? I mean, what a what a where, you know? Yeah. In in there it says, and look how the Muslim they translate falsely. They said that she 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 she, she guarded herself in chastity. It doesn't say that. It said she guarded her vagina. 
No way are the word chastity is appearing in the verse. It's a big fat lie. Where is chastity? But why they but why they lie in their translation? Are they using everything is a lie? <laughs> now uh, Amir, I don't know if you can see with me the screen. You, you can see it. I see everything. Though. Okay. It says here what kind of insano ajula. This is a chapter 17, verse number 11. And the, the verse here is speaking how Allah created Adam. Let us read the story. It says, And a man is ever hasty. Salman al Farisi said, Ibn Abbas, and Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of Adam. When he wanted to get up before his soul reached to his feet, when his soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from, the, from his head downwards. <laughs> from where? <laughs> from his head. In the case of Mary, it is the opposite because she is a woman. He will make a breath net. So it entered from yeah. where he mentioned the word vagina. Let us continue. And then it says, when it reached his brain, he sneezed. Hachu! And he said, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, a guy is not even finished. He speak Arabic. <clears throat> Adam is not even finished. He is not out of Marlboro cigarette manufacturer yet, and yet he smoked. You have a fire already. <laughs> so imagine Adam, he sneezed. And then he said, Alhamdulillah. And Allah answered him, said to him, May your Lord have mercy on you. Like, what the heck? Allah says, May Allah have mercy on you. So who are you? <laughs> then, and then he said to him, May your Lord have mercy. May your Lord have mercy on you, O Adam. And then he continues, says, when it reached his eyes, oh, action, he opened them. And when it reached his body and the limbs, he started to stare at them in wonder. This is reminding me of the comedy show. It says the dead Ahmad, the terrorist Ahmad. I don't know if you saw it. So he looked at his limb. He looked at his limb and he was wondering, like, what is this? What is this? What is this? And then he wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but he could not. So he said, oh Allah, make it happen before the, but before the sun set, not the right night it comes. It says in Arabic, mm. before the sun set, look how they lie to us about the creation of Adam. They say, Allah, he created everything by words. Nothing in the Quran saying anything mentioned, it created by word. The Quran says, similarity of Adam is the same as Jesus. If you want to say to him, if you want to create him, you say to him, be, and he was. But as you see, he did not say be. It took him time. To the point, mm -hmm. Adam, he was afraid that the sunset is coming and Allah will not finish because Allah is so slow. <laughs> what a God. And then, uh, brother, do you know the argument that uh, Muslims say, oh, look at your God. He, he was very tired after six days. He, uh, he refreshed, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know, the, the, <laughs> you know, what, 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 those stories, uh, the first time I was reading them, I said to myself, man, I'm so proud of Adam. How he knew about the sunset if he never saw one yet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this guy is not even created yet. And yet he know that the sun is going to set soon. And he's asking Allah, Allah, hello, you cannot work at night. You, you don't have a flashlight. Allah, please finish me before the sunset because if the sun come, you will not be able to see and then you might be, put your finger in my nose. Please, Allah, finish me before the sunset because you cannot make it in the sun when the sun set. I mean, what, what kind of a crazy religion? Wakan al insan wa ajul. And the Muslim, they read it and like, wow. Which, which, which tafsir is that, brother? Which tafsir is that? This is Ibn Kathir. This is the smartest Ibn Kathir. You see, Ibn Kathir is one of the smartest Abdul between all the Abdul because he grew in Syria. You know, those Syrian, they are not the same as the other Abdul. They are a lot more educated because they live with the real Syrian. The real Syrian, the Aramaic people. So the Ibn Kathir, he is a lot more smarter and yet he keeps giving, doing poo, poo you know? But what he can do, as he said, it's not me. Salman al-Farisi said, Ibn Abbas said, etc. said, so this is a very authentic story. Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, Salman al-Farisi, the Sahabi, they confirm that how, how Allah created Adam, he breathed into his mouth. And from his mouth, 
the breath coming down mm -hmm. and this is how life brought to Adam so what is the word be and he was same happened to Mary but in the case of Mary the Quran mentioned that he breathed into her vagina the Muslims because they are ashamed of the story they try to fabricate mm -hmm. and say he breathed into her her where 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 brother is there any translation of the English translation in which they gave the true meaning of, of farch uh, translate that? I, right? you know, we can try here in this website let us see here mm -hmm. uh, let us see I will type the word farge in Arabic and let us see I think it's going to come you see the Muslims what? the Muslims they translate correctly as long if they find that there's no shame in giving the correct meaning but if they find that this is will be a, mm -hmm. be a problem then they have to play with it let us see. Yeah. Okay. All right. Look, read with me here carefully. Sunan An Nisa'i, volume number one, big book one, book number one, hadith number one thirty-five. One Let us read. What farjuhu mean? Hmm. Private part. They are. They are. They are being polite. Private part. So he put water, he sprink water over his penis. This is what yeah, the word for Jehu mean. It's in the front of us, all over. Aisha said, Ma nazartu ila fariji Rasulullah. Aisha, she said, I never looked at the penis of the Prophet. Obviously, she was looking at something else. I mean, if the wife she never saw the if the if the wife of Muhammad she never saw the private part of Muhammad, who will see it? The Abdul will see it. Aisha, she cannot. Haram. Wow. Read with me carefully. I did not have the courage to see the private parts of uh, of Rasulullah. Like what the heck? She never saw it. <laughs> maybe it's too small. Maybe it's not there. Maybe it was dark. I have no idea. But what it says here that she never saw Farju Rasulullah. It's impossible I to see it. Because he's a he's because he is uh look look at this hadith here. I never saw the messenger of Allah, never, 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 never that I never saw the private parts of Rasulullah. I think Muhammad he used to blind, you know, he put like something around her eyes before he take off his panty. <laughs> I mean, how this can how this is can be possible that a man and a woman, or a, a man and a child, sorry, especially she's a child, so she will be to his west, so she is going to face right away there, you know. So how mm -hmm. it's possible that two people they are having sex and she never saw his private part? Mm -hmm. Any Abdul? I hope some Muslims will call in in, in your uh, show and. Uh, Ask some questions about it and um, get out of this stupid religion called name Islam. What, what is that for stuff? Look at this hadith. All of them garbage. Look it, at this hadith. All of them. This is this, a, this is Islam. About it's about ass, about penis, about balls, about how to wash your. I mean, I don't know. Uh, uh, look. How did people? How people knew about it? Know about it? They, they write something down and they see it's, um, um, uh, it, there is a hadith in which uh, uh, Muhammad uh, used to put um, uh, 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 what is that um, a piece of cloth over over, 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 over Aisha, yeah. Her. yeah when he when she have yeah. uh, her period look at this look at this Sorry. whenever the prophet intended to sleep while he was Junub you know what Junub Junub, 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 No, Junub. You know, when when a person he have um, uh, either sex or masturbation, that is ah, okay. Junub. So Muhammad he sleep without washing. Look, read it. Hmm? <laughs> he was Junub. Hmm. That means he he goes dirty in, in his bed. Whenever the Prophet intended to sleep while he was Junub, he used to wash. This is what they're saying. But we can show you that Muhammad he used to do that and sleep with many wives, but he never wash. If we go in the hadith, we find this. Uh, 
I not believe in my eyes when I see the, the, the hadith in which the Muslims say this is sahih. This is very, very disturbing. Uh, very, Lord very disturbing. Mercy. Let me see where I can find you. Uh, read with me this one. The Prophet, look how clean he is. Look how hygiene he has. The Prophet have sex with all his women without washing. He finished with all of them and then he washed one time. Which means he take his penis from a woman to a woman to a woman to a woman. He have 13. Mm -hmm. Read with me. It was narrated from Anas that the Messenger of Allah used to go around all his wives and perform ghusl once. He, he, he washed wow. only once. All his wives, he sleep with them. He had, and, and here, by the way, huh? how Anas he knew that? Yeah, that, that's what I'm questioning. How the people that know about it? Look like Muhammad used to take them with them, with him. <laughs> Otherwise, how they know? I mean, how this guy Anas he knew this? The prophet he no, no, used. You take pen and say, write it down. What I'm doing? Yeah, you know. Like, let us see. Uh, <laughs> let us see. Let us see. I want to find the. There's many hadith actually. They are funny. Let us see. I hope some Muslims will see this first and question Islam. Hmm. Look, look at this. Uh, 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 this hadith have nothing to do with our topic, but remind me of something. Muhammad, he said, not a single prophet. He was he passed away, but he was buried where he died. Hmm? Not a single prophet. He died, but he was not buried in his place where he died. Muslims, who is the prophet who was buried in his place? Name one for me, according to your religion. If this is true, Adam, where is his grave? Abraham, where is his grave? Where Adam died, Muslims? Where Abraham died? Muslims, you claim that Abraham, he built the Kaaba. So he built the Kaaba and he left? Did he mm -hmm. die in the Kaaba? Where is the grave of Jesus? Where he died? Where is the grave of Moses? Where Muhammad is getting this information from? Mm -hmm. I saw Ali call for a chair and he sat down. Then he called for water in a vessel and washed his hand three times. Then he raised his mouth, his nose, and with one hand three times. Then he washed his face three times. I mean, what's wrong with you, Muslims? We are people of the Trinity, and you do everything by three times. <laughs> everything is based on three times. <laughs> what's wrong? Why three times? Alaikum. By the way, for Salam those alaikum. for those who do not know, uh, Brother Amir, he is uh, from Germany, and I did visit him uh, just uh, uh, you know what ten days ago I was there. Uh, um, yeah, something like that. I was I was in uh, in his place, and we have a live broadcast. He's a very very nice person, and I met his brother and very good brothers there, and I went to their church too. They have a, a very nice church in Germany, uh, and he have a live broadcast for those who speak German. Uh, so you can uh, maybe you can post your link later Amir or you can text something so people they can click at your name and subscribe for those who speak German mm. yeah. I, I think everybody knows me <laughs> from your side are you known more than Allah <laughs> Allah knows best <laughs> by the way how is this guy Ramazan and speaking about my books still he's attacking my books <laughs> he can he can Look in the future, brother. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Al Khidr. <laughs> you know, you know, do you know what he's, he he said in in, uh, in his video? In his video, somebody told me that he said that I went to your to Germany because nobody listened to me in English. What <laughs> <laughs> What the heck are you talking about? In this trip, I visited almost 10 countries. 
look like I, I was going there because nobody is listening to me in English. All my programs in English. What are you talking about? <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever I go, still people, they have to listen to me in English. Uh, madness. And then what he said too, what he said. Yeah, yeah, hold on. About the hadith about Aisha, that uh, about she she said, uh, like, uh, make them stay in the rooms and don't teach them writing or reading, right? He said this is uh, rejected. Did he say that? He said this is a lie. <clears throat> yeah, but let me remind people here something. When a Muslim, he say that he found that this hadith to be a lie, he is not accusing us of lying. He is accus accusing yeah, his brothers in Islam to lie because we caught it from their, their books. You see how stupid <laughs> this cult is? I want to say thank you for saying that. You are saying to me that your Muslim scholars are a bunch of liars. When we see, idiots. Yeah, because, be, be, because Muhammad, he said, whoever fabricate a hadith about me, he will set a chair of fire in yeah. hell. All right? So why you Muslim fabricate mm -hmm. hadith about Muhammad and his wife? Why? Yeah. And how we can't trust Muslims anymore? Because Muslims, they keep saying to us, this hadith is weak. What, what weak mean? They say, uh, it's fishy. And then they say, oh, this hadith is rejected. What rejected mean? Oh, it is a lie. Okay. Why it was not a lie for 14 centuries? Why today it's yeah. a lie? Why yes, today you are not proud about it? When, you know... Uh, because uh, 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 Amir, let me, uh, I just remember, you asked me about the hadith to explain to you, and I was, I told you I was with people, I, I, I cannot answer you, I am in public uh, place, remember? Uh, just yesterday, yeah. right? Yeah. Yesterday, Amir, he asked me to speak about uh, uh, hadith where Muhammad, he kissed a man uh, down his belly. Uh, and he said to me, if you can explain it to me, I said, I cannot because I'm sitting in a public place. There's like 200 people around me. And imagine I'm explaining to you how the prophet used to kiss a man in his belly. Now read the hadith with me. This is the hadith. Good, I rem remember. Abu Abdul Rahman ibn Abu Layla. Now this guy Ramazan, if you want to say this hadith is a lie, you have to say that Abu Abdul Rahman is a liar, not me. <laughs> Quoting Quoting, etc. Ibn Haydar, a man from Al Ansar said that while he was giving to jesting and was talking to the people, making them laugh, the Prophet poked him under the ribs with a stick, and he said, "Let me, let me take retaliation." He said, "Take retaliation." He said. You are wearing a shirt, but I am not. <laughs> the prophet then raised his shirt and the man embraced him. What the heck? And then began to kiss his side. And then he said, wow. this is what I wanted. No messenger of Allah. This is what I wanted always. What is this? Wow. Hmm? Like two, uh, two gay people talking there, huh? And by the way, translation here is not is not correct. Here in Arabic, it says, "Qala inna alayka qamisan wa laysa alayya qamis." One of them is naked. One of them is not wearing clothes. So the who is the one is not wearing clothes? The other guy. Here it says, "Farafa nabiyyu sallallahu alaihi wasallam an 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 qamisahu." So the Prophet he left up his clothes, and he hugged him, and then he start wa jala yuqabilu kashhahu. And he started kissing him in the side of his belly, which means the down of his belly. Mm -hmm. And here, by the way, this is not a weak hadith. Surprise, surprise. It says, <laughs> Sahih <laughs> in chain, Al Alabani. <laughs> huh? Okay. It says here, <laughs> then <laughs> the, pro the prophet then, he ra he then raised his shirt and the man embraced him. It doesn't say the man embraced him. It says, and he, and he, and he embraced him, which means the, the prophet embraced him and began to kiss mm. his side. And then he said, this is what I wanted. The man, he said that because the prophet is kissing him there, which means he's saying to him, oh, please, oh, please don't stop. Right there, right there, brother. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> what a prophet. A prophet of God kissing a man in the belly down. And the guy says to him, right there, don't stop. True story. What the Muslim will say, they will say it is a, it is daif. It's daif, brother. It's daif. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's not a lie. <laughs>
Albani said is a Sahi, huh? Yeah, Alabani. And this is the same guy, this guy Ramazan, he mentioned his name, right? He said Alabani, right? Mm -hmm. He said Alabani, he said it's weak. So now, as long as he accepts Alabani to be a scholar for him, he's stuck with it. Here we go. Alabani says Sahih in chain. <laughs> Sahih. Uh, Who is this Alabani? Alabani is a, a guy, he, he died not many years ago, you know, and... Uh, but the, the Muslims, they made him, because he, he made a, a, a book about uh, uh, to study the hadith and to see if there is uh, any problem with any hadith, you know. But he is not really a big shot. But this is what the Muslims today, uh, you know, when you became famous, they make you famous. Tomorrow we will have a book of, it's called the book of Zakir Naik. You know. <laughs> and they believe everything what Zakir Naik said. So for sure, whatever. Zakir Naik, he told them that the word Hur is not male and female, brother. The sister they're acting mm -hmm. with him. Why in Islam there is no Hur for women? First of all, the word Hur is a plural name. It is not male, it's a female. <laughs> what? The word Hur is not male or female, but the Quran says that those Hur, nobody make them bleed. Idiot. So what do you mean they can be male? Hur is male and female? When the Quran says no man and no genie make them bleed? Man and genie. If we go in the Quran, we'll find this. Here we go. I like Zakir Naik. He's my favorite. فِيهُنَّ قَاصِرَاتُ الطُّرْفِ لم يتمثهن إنس قبلهم ولا جان. Different verse. This is the verse here, chapter fifty-five, verse number fifty-six. This one, fifty-five, seventy-four. All of them saying clearly that those who are no human, neither a genie, made them lose their virginity by making them bleed. So how this liar he says that those who are they are they can be male and female. I mean, mm -hmm. what's wrong with you, Muslims? If we go right now here in this website, let us search for it. Yatmuthahun. Yatmuthahun. Uh huh. Yatmuthahun. Here we go. Chapter 55, verse number 50, 74, and chapter 55, verse number 56. Let us read it. And this is the Muslim translation. Read. According to Zakir Naik and his Mambo Bambo. Uh, interpretation <laughs> Hur is male and female but here it says no man you see it here they, they are using the word touch but the fact it's not about touch it's about they did not make them bleed it says they are bleeding let, let me show you uh, there's one of them he gave a good translation actually let us highlight all the translation to see which one I think this one maybe Halil. Okay. Here we go. Do you see it, guys? He did not open the skin of the vagina with sexual intercourse. This is what Yatmuthahunna means. Do you see it? This is the Muslim translation. Yet the idiot Zakir Naik have 10,000 Abdul, and he is saying to them, Brother Sister, the word Hur is the better name. Is it that male? It's not a female. <laughs> and none of the Abdul says to him, you idiot, are you a donkey? The Quran says that nobody has sexual intercourse with them and broke their hymens. So what are you talking about? But what you can say, that, you know, garbage in, garbage out. Yeah, please, mm -hmm. when we do Zakir Naik, please uh, bring your umbrella with you. <laughs> are you doing live broadcast, Amir? Please. Are you doing live broadcast mm -hmm. or no? Amir, are you doing what? live? Are you doing live broadcast from your side? Uh, no, brother, I'm here in your uh, uh, okay. channel. Because because because, because because you can you can do live broadcast from your side, and you can link me to you to you to there, and we can talk in the same time. You know, maybe next time you can do so. You can speak in German. You, know, to, you can you can unmute uh, yourself. You can unmute yourself when you want. You know, you can have your Skype open if you want, and you can unmute yourself from my side, or I can mute you. If you want to translate or speak in German, and then when you have a question or somebody have a question for me, you can link him to me. 
so we can be like both of us doing the same live program together you know yeah this is what, this is what i want to do you know yeah but uh, it's something i don't know how to um do this you know uh to connect um, channels together, it's just you know? it's very simple you know don't do anything the same you do it open in your computer start running mm -hmm. your 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 show and call me in Skype you mm -hmm. know and uh, mm -hmm. when you have a question you know connect me there when you don't keep talking in German like normally and then you have something to say somebody have a question for me call me right away and we we uh, you know we connect you can still do in your show I'm doing mine and Jabril mm -hmm. is, and Jabril is between us <laughs> <laughs> this Jibril, this Jibril uh, never goes uh, out of my head because I, I every time I think about Jibril, I think a demon uh, was no Jibril is a demon. Jibril was the boyfriend of Muhammad Dahya Al Kalbi. Dahya Al Kalbi. Yeah, you know Muhammad. He said that Jibril come to him in the image of Dahya. Mm -hmm. Why? Why Jibreel come in the image of this man? Any Muslim knows? Any Abdul know? Let us see the hadith. I'm trying to find to find the hadith. What happened? That this guy, uh, uh, the Kalbi, is the most handsome young man in Quraysh. And obviously, there's a relationship between Muhammad and him to explain why this guy stays so late and he come out from a place of Muhammad so late. He claimed that Jibreel, this is Jibreel, this is not Dahya. Yes, he look exactly like Dahya, mm -hmm. but this is Jibreel. You know? Let me let me, mm -hmm. let me get the hadith. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Okay, I found the hadith. Let's see. It is cited in English. You didn't yeah. notice that I uh, translated your video about uh, breastfeed suckling an adult? Uh, your voice is not good. Uh, I mean, I don't know what happened. Do you hear me now? All right. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Uh, do you notice that I translated your uh, video about breastfeeding in Islam, uh, breastfeeding an adult? Uh, yeah. I, no, I do not know really. Uh, nobody told me. Oh, okay. You uh, gave a lot of uh, sources and references uh, about the uh, breastfeeding in Islam and how Aisha breastfeed a, a young man and uh, the other. Um, other wives or other women around Muhammad uh, gave their breast too. Yeah. And some Muslim very, very uh, upset about it, you know. <laughs> they accuse me of being a liar. You are a liar. It is not true. And, uh, you know, the, the truth hurt. The truth hurt, what you can say. I mean, uh, it, it hurt. It hurt. Yeah. Let me see. It here. hurt. Yeah. yeah, where it says, here we go. Read the hate with me. It says that Jibreel used to come to Muhammad in the image of Dahya al Kalbi. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Read. I did not know him more than any man among you. That was Jibreel, peace upon you, who came <laughs> down in the form of Dahya al Kalbi. Do you see it? Yes. How Jibreel come to Muhammad in the image of his boyfriend. The Hail Kalbi is a real person who exists in the time of Muhammad. He was the most handsome guy. And Muhammad, he have a special relationship with him, obviously, to the point he allow him to sleep with his wife. The women who Muhammad wow. kidnapped her from her family. He took her first. And then Muhammad, he took her from the Hail Kalbi. And he claimed that Jibreel come to him in the image of Dahil Kalbi. Any Muslim can explain to us why? Why is coming in the image of Dahil Kalbi? And this is a Sahih Hadith. There we go. Do you see it says Sahih? <coughs> Sunan and Nisa'i Hadith number one four uh, four nine nine one. 
So it is proven according to Muhammad, according to Muslims, that Muhammad he never saw Jibreel, he saw a guy, his name is Dahil Kalbi. And this guy is very <laughs> well known man, and he slept with his wife before Muhammad have her. Oh. So how you can trust Muhammad to be a prophet of God and why Jibreel is coming in the image of this guy? So now people will be confused who is Jibreel and who is Dahya? Yes. So Amir, next time I see you, I will say, are you Amir or Jibreel? <laughs> <laughs> let me see, let me see. Today, today, I think today you are Amir. <laughs> <laughs> What it's a, a joke. I, what a crazy all, religion. Uh, all the hadiths are uh, fairy tale stories, huh? all of them. Huh? My friend, everything in Islam is weak. The Prophet is weak. <laughs> Remember the story where Muhammad he says, Muhammad he said, I was the most weak person in sex, and I invoke my God mm -hmm. Allah, and he sent me a dish of shish kebab. It's called Al Kufayt. I ate it, I get the power of 40 men. You know what? I want Muslims to tell me what kind of God he could not fix the sexuality problem of Muhammad without going to his kitchen making a shish kebab dish for him. Aren't you Muslim? You say to us that if he wants something to happen, he say B is going to be. Here we go. Muhammad have a problem. His penis is not working. Allah, what he do? He go to the kitchen. He get the spices. He get some beef. He start working hard. He put it in the microwave. He cook it. He spice it. He put salt. He tasted, by the way, if Allah tasted, that means he got horny too. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. If you remember, when Muhammad speak about himself, uh, that he, he was under black magic. You remember the hadith? Yes, I remember. Okay. How Muhammad was healed from the magic? You remember? I don't know. Allah, uh, Allah he sent angels ah, yeah. right. Allah he sent two angels. They are two doctors. Their specialty, <laughs> yeah. They came like we 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 we. They opened the roof of Muhammad. They look at him. Muhammad laying down in the ground. The first guy he said to the second guy, "What the, what's wrong with this guy?" <laughs> okay, let me see. Even the angels, what's wrong with this guy? Let me let me show you. Uh, Let me show you the hadith. I'm trying to find the hadith speaking about that. Uh, all right, here we go. <clears throat> A man called Lubaid ibn al Asam from the tribe of Bani Zoraik worked a magic on Allah Messenger till Allah Messenger started imagining that he had done a thing that he had not really done you remember Amir when we went mm. me and you and Dennis we want to go to the tower of the TV station yes and okay you you uh, we did not go in right yeah. Why we did not go to get in? It was because it was expensive, and three of us are poor. <laughs> it's funny, guys. Three of us we want to go to the power the, to this TV station uh, tower, and then they said to us, "How much? How much? The each one we have to pay." I I nine, think uh, nine euro. Twenty five euro. Yeah, I think nine for each. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so I said I will get Jibreel and get I, I can go there <laughs> better than this. So here, imagine <laughs> that the three of us we went to the end of the tower. Imagine, my friend. But in fact, we did not go. Why? Because we can do it if we can contact this guy. His name is Lubayd ibn Asam. He can do it. <coughs> he was able to do it to the Prophet. Why he will not do it to us? We can go right now anywhere we want. If we can make Lubaydun Lassam make a black magic on us. So now, uh, Lubaydun Lassam, he placed a black magic 
on the prophet by the way why it's a black magic not white magic i mean even this is a racist what magic have to do with the black anyway so supposedly this is satanic magic then allah messenger started imagining that he had done a thing but in fact he did not do it like what muslims let us count together muhammad he thought he did pee in the bathroom but the fact it was the refrigerator mm -hmm. is that possible there's a guy he is very very heavy sleeper so when he wake up he don't know what he's doing so he went he came back after he pissed and he said to his wife honey usually when we open the bathroom door does the light turn it's by itself she said mm -hmm. no he said uh oh what i did it obviously it was the refrigerator so muhammad who imagined himself doing things but in fact he did not that can goes to anything including where he do poo, -poo including sex even yeah. the hadith mentioned that he imagined himself having mm -hmm. sex imagining himself mm -hmm. seeing an angel imagining himself receiving quran so how we can trust such a man you muslims mm -hmm. in your books witness for us saying that your prophet is mentally ill because there is nothing is called mm -hmm. black magic really this brother, is just about brother, you know yeah go ahead brother here, here the muslim says ah oh, muhammad was finished with this work uh, the the quran was uh, finished and uh, even <laughs> <laughs> Allah uh, used him uh, for the Quran and uh, and then it, it was finished and then uh, Allah let him go away you my know? friend the <laughs> hadith the sahih hadith confirm that Muhammad never finished even when he died mm -hmm. he said this is the hadith let me show it to you he said bring me papers and this is in his deathbed all right Ibn Abbas said, when Allah Apostle was in his deathbed, mm -hmm. there were some men in the house said, come near. Muhammad, he said, come near. I will write for you something after which you will not go astray. So what they mean by he is finished. He did not finish even yeah. in the, even yeah. in his death, yeah. even in his death, still there is something missing. And he told them, let me write it for you. Otherwise you will go astray, which means the Quran is useless. And look what happened here. Yeah. Omar al Khattab, he brother, said, Qad I, Go ahead. Brother? Yes. I think uh, the Muslims lied to, to us. They, they say Muhammad was an analphabet. He, he didn't even uh, ha, know how to read and to write. But the hadith say he, he write something down. Well, obviously, here he can write because he's saying, uh, No, give me a paper to write for you. <laughs> he didn't say bring a paper and write for me. He says bring me a paper uh, to I so I will write for you. You know, yeah. Uh, and, 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 and not only this, this is very very important story here, because obviously the Quran is useless, because he is saying what I will write to you now is what will not lead you astray. So all the Quran is useless. And look what Omar he said to him. Umar al Khattab, he said, the prophet, he lost his mind. You see here translating as seriously ill. It doesn't say that. It says he, he lost his mind. And, you know, here, if you go in Arabic, <clears throat> in this hadith, it says, you know, it, it is, his, uh, his pain overcome him. In different hadith, it says, Qad hajar al -rasul, Qad hajar, which means he lost his mind. You know, like when, when somebody gets so old, he starts saying things that don't mean anything, you know. So he's saying, Qad hajar al -rasul, he lost his mind. In this hadith here, it says, that uh, Omar, he said to him, Allah Messenger is seriously ill, which means he, he lost his mind too. And you have mm -hmm. the Holy Quran. Allah book is su sufficient for us, which means we do not need him to write anything. So Omar, he refused mm -hmm. him to write. So how they say, Omar, he says the Quran is sufficient. Muhammad says Quran is not sufficient. Which one we believe, Omar or Muhammad? Who is the Muslim when I answer mm -hmm. us? Obviously, Omar saying the Quran is sufficient. Muhammad saying it's not. Because it says, I come near. Now, bring me papers. I will write for you something after which you will not go astray. After. After what? After he write <coughs> this. But Muhammad never wrote it because Omar did not allow <coughs> him. You know? 
and then the mm -hmm. Muslims start fighting, as you see in the hadith. And this is a Sahih al Bukhari, hadith number 4432, book number 64, hadith number 542. Depend in the reference you are reading, where you are reading mm -hmm. in the Arabic, in the sorry, in the USC, uh, uh university translation, volume 5, book 59, hadith number 717. Mm -hmm. Yes, my, my question is. is here uh, why why don't muslims see this uh, stuff in this hadith do they uh, are they blind or my friend if aisha if aisha she said i never dared to look at the private part of muhammad how the muslim will do <laughs> <laughs> yes she is his wife and still she is scared to look at his private part mm -hmm. this guy is a monster and after he died, he had many monasteries. The second you start to question everything in Islam, anything in Islam, they will kill you. You know, imagine, mm -hmm. imagine if you live in Pakistan. Imagine if you live in, in you yourself uh, in Iran. What will happen if you say any of what you say? No, I, so I will right away kill me. Right yeah. Away. So it's not about they don't. It's about who dare. You know, mm -hmm. give, give people freedom, and you will see people will, 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 will die laughing at Muhammad. You see. The Muslim they say yeah. uh, uh, that Muhammad in the time of the Arab he challenged the Arab he challenged him says to them bring a Quran like this but what the Arab says to him to, to him they laugh at the Quran imagine I say to you you are saying something stupid and then you say to me bring something like it <laughs> <laughs> I just said to you, this is a stupid, and you say to me, make something like it. Huh? Mm -hmm. If you read here, just to show you what the Arab said, let, let me get the Abdul Basid about the challenge. The Muslim they say, who can make Quran like the Quran? First of all, Muhammad himself he admit that Shaitan he gave him Quran, and this why Salman Rushdie he made a book, Satanic verses, and the Muslim mm -hmm. admit in the Hadith that Allah prophet he took from Omar the Quran of Omar or Allah God the God of Muhammad he took the Quran of Omar Omar he says Allah you agree with me in five in, in, in three things in different hadith mm -hmm. it says five in different hadith it says ten so at least there's a three Allah he took from Omar which is very important the hijab and the, the uh, about the wives of Muhammad they are fighting with him and about the Kaaba here, if you see with me here, chapter 10, verse number 38. If we read the translation, let us see a translation. You will see that the Arab making fun of Muhammad. Look what it says. Or do they say he fraudulent? Say bring surah like it. They just said to you, it's it's a fabrication, it's a lie. And you said to them, bring something like mm -hmm. it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just say to mm -hmm. you, it's it, what you say. It's a lie. It's a it's a fraud. It's it's a, it's a forge, forgery. And then you say, bring a mm -hmm. forgery. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> so the Arab they did not. They were not mm -hmm. amused with it, because if they were amused with it, they would not say. It is from God. They are saying He is the one who made it because it's obviously stupid. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because if it is something amazing, they will not say He is the one who made it. Because mm. this must be amazing, you know. There's no way he can Even do it. To but, Muhammad, but, they, but he he was a bewitched man, huh? Yeah, but they mocked but, him. But yeah, they, they mocked him. But here, a, here, a, here, the verse lie. here. This this is Quran. They cannot say it's weak. Here, the Arab they say to him, "You are a fabricator. You fabricate those things. It's a lie." So they mm. did not. They were not amused with the Quran. Mm -hmm. They were laughing at him saying this is your fabrication. It's a lie mm -hmm. You see they did not say oh This is amazing. It must be from God because there's no way a human being can make some such a, such a thing They were saying it's a it's a by saying he fraud it. They are saying it is the made of a human being Specifically mm -hmm. in this case Muhammad mm -hmm. CP um the the first chapters from from one to i i think nine the poesy of the quran is, is a little bit greater than the other um um the, la the language you verses mean? that came after the, the, the language 
Yeah, because point in, in the time of Muhammad, and they battled each other like rapping, you know. Yeah, but and, but but the Quran. Yeah, but the, but the Quran, generally speaking, it's a very weak Arabic language. You know, like uh, 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 it's not a poet reading. It's like it's uh, it's called saja. You see, Muhammad. Uh, if you have my first book, you, you you I spoke about the saja, the saja, and I will speak in the coming book. Uh, in the, it's called the roots of the Quran. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I will start working it again. Uh, if we go and search, there is something. It's called Saja al Kohan. Saja mm -hmm. al Kohan. You will find tons of reference about such a thing. What is Saja al Kohan? It's mean the rab of the monks. Those are people who claim to be monks, but not monks doesn't mean a Christian, it's Christian monks, you know, uh, uh, monks for any religion. So they used to do saja. This is the language they speak at the time of Muhammad and before Muhammad. And Muhammad himself, he said it clearly that he learned a lot from the saja of uh, uh, there's, there's many names, you know, I spoke about them. Uh, uh, you know, maybe I should. Uh, uh, I should mention, make make a special, uh, let us say, uh, you know, time to talk about it. Like here, this is this is an mm -hmm. article by ex-Muslims uh, about this. Let us see. <clears throat> this is a Muslim. His name is Sayyid Al Qumni. He's a very well known. He's a scholar. He's speaking about mm -hmm. where is Islam is coming from and where is the Quran? What is the Quran is about? It's you know he is making it clearly that all the Arab they used to do such a thing. It's a it's a way it's a way of talking, language of speaking. At that time, and Muhammad he was under the influence of those who speak in such a language. And then when he started doing it the same as the others, he forbid the Muslims to practice the same thing. Hmm. Like here. There's many, there's tons of studies and there, you know endless reference about about this, and you know the, the the bad thing about this, in order to explain to you what we are talking about, you need to know Arabic, because it's going to go to the Arabic and the and the and the language, and we show you the similarity between them and what Muhammad was quoting and what was Muhammad, you know, he's taking from others. So it's a it's a language base, and because it's a language base. You know, you need to talk about it to people who speak Arabic or they have the basic of Arabic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is why usually I don't talk about it much, really. But it's the same as rubber music in 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 today world, where people they you know mm -hmm. try to make a song uh, from from things. But the Arab they used to make something. Let us say it's really good in quality, speaking saja, but it's good in quality. Not like Muhammad who have nothing to say. You know, you, you will see yeah. Muhammad in one verse speaking about his wife, the verse after speaking about Abraham, the verse after speaking about uh, the Kuffar, the verse after go back <laughs> to his wives. I mean, there is no connection between them. Uh, yeah. uh, I wish people speak Arabic. That would make it really interesting for people to see how how much Muhammad is a, uh, is a, a thief. Everything he has is a theft. Uh, brother, yeah. uh, should I ask in the in this uh, chat? Maybe some Muslim in Germany is looking at, at your show. Sure, if you any, want to call, if you, any maybe? if any Muslim would like to call, feel free. He can call me. I would like to, especially from Germany. You know, I I like to speak to a Muslim uh, from Germany. Maybe he can invite yeah. me to Germany because nobody's listening to me in English. <laughs> you know. Ja, also wenn es jemanden hier gibt im Chat, der ein Muslim ist, der aus Deutschland kommt, fühl dich frei, den Bruder Christian Prince anzurufen und ihm Fragen zu stellen. Wenn du überzeugt bist, dass deine Religion die Wahrheit ist, was hindert dich daran, anzurufen und mit ihm zu reden? Ja, wirst du sogar noch von Allah belohnt. Mit noch mehr Hodis. <lacht> I, hope, I hope some Muslims here in this chat from Germany you know what, but Amir? Never, Amir, uh, uh, hang, but, up, hang up. Let us see. Maybe I'm Muslim on a call, but he is not able. Maybe, maybe uh, let's give them a chance. 
if nobody if, if nobody if nobody call you know uh, you know you can call again let us give them a chance maybe okay, they can call all right okay bro thank you okay all right if there's any muslim would like to call us If there is any Muslim would like to call. May they, may they. A Muslim is needed. Who would like to call us from the Muslims? By the way, this uh, this brother Jamir, he's a very, very nice guy. Uh, you know, as I said, I went to his house. And, uh, uh, you know, we have really a good time. Uh I enjoyed uh, his company and the friends we met in his house and all the brothers and uh, we went even in the street and we met his brother and other brother from the church his brother from his from his parents he was giving brochure in the street you know uh, uh, you know the Christian brochures so they are very active people they are not like uh, Christian by name they go in the street they preach they, they try to reach out to people they do everything they can uh, they are in the street, they are in the field, they are uh, uh, in the church, they are in YouTube. They do whatever they can do. So I really appreciate uh, those wonderful people. Now, do we have any Muslim who would like to call us? Nobody? I mean, we made, the, we made Amir hang up. At least call me, say something. Say, say you are a liar. You know, the Muslim, they say to us, the Arab, they said, the, the Arab at the time of Muhammad, they were amused, brother. Amused. We're, we're amused. Oh, we have a guy who want to debate me. Oh, okay. Call me. WS, please, call me. As long as you want to debate me, call. We have a Muslim, he said he want to debate me. I always, you know, I say to myself before I start, I hope no Muslim will call. Hello? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Hello? Assalam. Hello? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead, my friend. How are you doing? Do you hear me? Yes, I do. I hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I would like to talk to you about the future rather than the past. The future? Mainly, yes, you know, most people now are not religious very much. Now, what would you say to convince someone that Christianity is a better influence on their life in the future rather than Islam, for example, or Buddhism? Because the, the Christian countries, you know, they're dying right now. I never, saw, I never saw a Christian country is dying. Where? <laughs> do you live in Europe? Uh, no, I don't live in Europe. And you, who said that Europe is a Christian country? Christian We're, civilization. That's what you uh, there's, you know, there's, there's a huge difference, my friend. And as long as long Europe is dying, why you go there? Exactly. Why you go there? Why is it dying? Though? No, if the, if it is dying, obviously you are the one is dying because you run away from your country, go into a dying country. That means your country is more dying. Otherwise, you will not leave your country. To go to a dying country, and that means the one is dying. Really, is the Muslim countries. You Muslims are desperate. They immigrate <laughs> by millions from their dead land to go to yeah, a dying country. Those are temporary and economic. It's not temporary, reasons. and that's the economic. Don't don't fool yourself. Street, uh, my friend, my Europe, friend, uh, can you compare? Can you compare the street in your country to a street in France? Can you compare a store in your country to a store in France? Can you compare the quality of life to the quality of your life in your? Uh, you know? Can you compare the average of living and the average of life and no. how 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 That's long? Typical. My friend, no, no, you, no this you is not technical. Everything, my friend, your consumers. countries, your countries, your Muslim countries are the countries of corruption. Which country you are from? I'm not from a Muslim country originally. Thank Which you. country you are from, my friend? Tell me, tell me. Don't be I'm, shy. I'm American. You you are not American. They, I, no, nobody nobody Ameri American is except the immigrant. I mean the, the the American, Native American. Me myself, I'm an American by citizenship, but which means I am an American. Yes, but I am not originally American. Where are you from? 
Don't run away from the question. Is it a question? The Let us see who is the, the dying country. Who is the dying the country? Christian. The one who, where is the war right now burning everywhere? In Libya, in Syria, in Egypt, in Saudi Arabia. Name one country is not involved in a bloodshed and you Muslims are running for your life. So why you are saying they are dying and you are alive when you are the one Even who cannot have security, the, the basic Even life, the, the wars, basic, the, the basic of normal growing. life you cannot Europe even have. Dying. My friend, my friend, don't fool yourself. It is your countries are dying. Now let's go to the topic. What do you want to say to me about that's, Islam? That's up. That's the topic. The topic European. Islam is dying, my friend. This is why you Muslims are desperately running from Islam. When sure. we have Ramadan in the month of Ramadan, where the Muslims goes? Sure. Where the Muslims in goes? Is it true they go Sweden, to Thailand? Sweden has elections, right? Is it true? Elections in Is it Sweden. true they one, go to Thailand? One out of four, 25% of Swedish voters will be Muslims. When will be? Because when this happened, let me know. Will be? What it's will be? Happened. My friend, my friend. So how So how the right is of Sweden, they are winning? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Come on. Europeans. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. And, and my friend, my prosper. friend, the one is dying is Islam. This is why you are running away from answering about Islam. You are trying to change the topic to talk about something. I'm not changing. You are changing the topic. What does this have to do with Ask this? Me. Listen, you, you, you want to tell me, you want to tell me, okay, we are Muslims and we have many Muslims in Sweden. We have many Muslims. We have many Christians in Egypt. We have many Christians in everywhere in the Middle East. Christianity is the biggest, fastest growing belief in the world. China is coming to Christ by hundreds of millions. What are you talking about? Korea used to be zero Christian, and now more than 85% to 90% is a Christian. Go and see in Iraq, the north of Iraq. <laughs> Korea the north is dying of, too. The man. north of Iraq, my friend, the north of Iraq is coming to Christ as never, ever before. Saudi, the guy who was calling me a second ago is from Iran. The biggest converted church is the Iranian church in USA. So you have no idea. I can play for you right now at Jazeera TV saying 16,000 Muslims leave Islam a day convert into Christianity a day. 666 an hour. And this is at Jazeera TV. So don't talk about this. Now let's talk about Islam. What do you want to say to me about your cult? That's what I call about what is more. What do you want to say to me about society? your cult? Prove what to is, me, what is my friend, my friend, Islam is dead and, and you have to face it. Even your prophet said, my nation will be 73 sect. One of them is going to go to heaven, is going to be the minority. So are you saying yep. your prophet is a liar? No, I believe that. So why you are proud about numbers when your prophet, he said, the majority, but Islam is okay. taught as a strange and will end as a strange, which means very few will believe in it. Yes, if that's what happens before Yom Al Qiyamah, that's what Thank happens. Thank you very much. But so, uh, so now you admitted, and everybody heard you, that your prophet said Islam is dying. We have the similar. Opinion Don't tell me similar. Islam. A second ago, you were proud about Christianity is dying, and now because just I said to you, your prophet said Islam is dying. You became like a cat, and suddenly yes, 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 yes Islam is dying. A second ago, you were saying Islam is not dying. So which one, the the which, one which, one too, which one is the truth? Which one is the truth? Which one is the truth? Your prophet was a liar or he's saying the truth? Your prophet, he made a false prophecy according to you because you said Islam is not dying. Your prophet saying Islam is dying. Which one of them is the truth? You or your prophet? All religions will be My friend, don't tell me all religions. Don't change the topic. Don't st start talking about the Buddha and the Hindu. You're changing the topic. My I friend, to talk why your prophet says Islam is dying? Why your prophet said what? Islam is dying and you say Islam is not? Why you are accusing your prophet to be a liar? Christians are the ones who are dying. They my are friend, don't change the topic. Anymore. Why you are accusing your prophet to be a liar? This is my interest. Why you say is such a thing you about your right? prophet? Just tell, tell people you're lying. Answer me. I'm not the one saying Answer you are me. lying. I'm saying you are accusing your prophet to be a liar. Why you are doing that? Not at all, but you're doing exactly what I didn't want. I want to talk about the future. My friend, I don't care. Some, some this is the future. The future is not exist. It exists is now. You just say now, Islam is not dying. Your prophet, and you agreed, your prophet said Islam is dying. So which one of you is saying the truth? Is Germany, is Germany you, a Christian country? My friend, France you, a you, I don't care. I care. I care for the moment, and the moment is you admitted that your prophet is a liar. Why you said that? Fine. Imagine I'm an atheist. It doesn't matter. I don't are care. Okay. If you Europe? are, I'm not going to imagine. Are you an atheist? 
Are those Christian churches? Are you an atheist? The churches are. Are you an atheist? Are you an atheist or not? No, alhamdulillah. So why I want to imagine? What's wrong with you? Now let us so imagine. Let I me am. say. I'm let me say you. something to you. Was your prophet an atheist? Not at all. Who said that? You or the Quran? I asked you the first thing I asked. My you, friend, what did you say don't change person? the topic. You mentioned the atheist, and you are the one who said, "Imagine I am an atheist." What if I show you? I do not need to imagine. You're a prophet. Was an atheist. Why you are? Why you are laughing? Can we please speak about concrete? My friend, things? I I, I speak concrete. World. You see, when I say something, I prove it. I even I show it in the screen. So what do you do if I challenge you to show you that the Quran says? That Muhammad was an atheist before the Tanzil, you mean? Huh? You said that your prophet never was an atheist, so now you agree that your prophet before became a prophet was an atheist? Of course, before all of them, it was all kufr. Of course, I'm asking. You ah, about guys, today. did you hear this? This guy he said like before, that he's a prophet was an atheist. Before. No, no, hold on. This is this is something. This is something important. All right, go, you just go. admitted that your prophet was an atheist, correct? No, they were mushrikeen before. So your prophet was a mushrik? They were before, yes. Your prophet was a mushrik. What does that mean? Explain to us, please. Well, they were polytheists and pagans, much like Christian so your prophet was a Romans, so your prophet was a pagan. Implemented so you are Christian saying. Okay, so you are saying so you are saying your prophet was a pagan man. He was before the tens of years. Guys, I want to say thank you. I want everybody to take this part, please, and post it everywhere in YouTube. This guy, this gentleman, <laughs> he just admitted that Muhammad is a pagan man, and all the lies the Muslim they say to us that he was Abrahamic. Christians are still pagans, they were friend, the don't change the topic, man. don't change the topic. You That's just admit you just admitted that your prophet was a pagan. Okay, before Islam, what the pagan used to do? What the Arab pagan used to do? You used to kiss the black stone, is that correct? They still do that. Okay, and now after Islam, Muhammad is still kissed the black stone or not? So what? So he is a pagan still. Now nah, doing something doesn't mean you are something. Ah, uh, so why he kissed the black stone if he's not a pagan? You just admitted that this is what the pagan do before Islam. Why Muhammad? You know, you, you, why Muhammad is doing what? The, why Muhammad is doing what the pagan does? Again, he was a I'm pagan. You had, my friend, you admitted that he was a pagan. Why? Dying. Why you don't want to answer? Why you don't want to answer? Christianity is the most growing, amazing churches. Come, come, to, come, come to my country, my friend. You cannot even find a place for your, yourself to park your car. If what a if a that? house listen if a house next to a church the house the price of the house will go down do you know why because in Saturday and Sunday there is no space for people to park their cars a lot thousand of people come people there they are renting a stadium to do the service what are you talking about now what answer answer Texas? don't change the topic why because? why Muhammad you are saying Muhammad was a pagan man before he became a prophet but Muhammad after he became a prophet he do what the pagan does. Because the black stone, why? Doesn't matter. What do you mean doesn't matter? I want to know why a prophet of God who is was a pagan and now he is not a pagan. He was a pagan and still a pagan, or he did not change. He's still a pagan you after know, he became prophet. You know the you know the Kaaba was important to all the Jews. My friend, them, all the my friend, my friend, my friend, you are a Somalian. My friend, so my friend, you are a Somalian boy, and you have no idea what are you talking about. What the Jews? What are you talking about? Listen to me. The Kaaba. You just said. Abraham, you just admitted. You just admitted. You just admitted that this is what the pagan does, kissing the black stone. Yes or no? Are the pagan idols still there? No. Well, yes. The Muslims are the pagan of today. Whereas you still worship a human my sacrifice. My friend, my friend, now you are the one who worship. Okay, let's change the topic. You want to change the topic? You want to jump like a monkey Please. from a place to place? You want to talk about that's sacrifice? Not, that's not a change at all. You want to talk about sacrifice? You want to talk about sacrifice? Human sacrifice? Yeah. yeah. Okay, human sacrifice. Let me ask you: Do Muslims believe in a human sacrifice? Nope. Forgiveness if, comes. If I get you busted in a second, what you will do? Are you willing to say that you are stupid if I show you that from the Quran? Human sacrifice. Yes. Sure. Please go. All right. Does it say in the Quran? In the meantime, that, my friend, don't change the topic. Does it say in the Quran that Allah He asked Abraham to sacrifice his son? 
That's before Islam. Islam says we have. I thought Abraham is a Muslim. Now. I thought Abraham is a Muslim, my friend. Are are you saying Abraham is not a Muslim? That's Torah law. My friend, what Torah? Abraham is Torah. Are you, are you stupid or what? This Abraham before the Torah has exists. What's wrong with you? You have demon. You just said. You just That's said that the one who have a demon, I can show it to you right now from the Hadith. It's your prophet. He was under black magic. Don't go there. It's your That's prophet. Magic, it's your man. prophet who said. It's your prophet. He said that he was possessed. Not only that, he said that Shaitan he command me to do nothing but good. Have you ever heard of a prophet of God commanded by Shaitan except Muhammad? Do you not believe in black magic? My friend, don't change the topic. No, I don't oh. believe in it. No, I don't believe it. Don't change the topic. How oh, really? she, how Muhammad, he says, Shaitan command me to do good. Explain to me. I don't have to explain what you want me to. What? So why you are calling me? me? So why you are calling me? Are you calling me to sing for me a song? Why a prophet of God? You are the one who said to me, are you possessed? Do you have a demon in you? It's your prophet who do, he have a demon. Read with me. This is the you hadith, in, uh, my friend. This is this is Sahih. First of all, Muslims don't believe in demon. Believe in genie. Stop being stupid, yeah. ignorant. Now listen. This is your Some prophet. This is your prophet saying that Shaitan he command him to do good. Does it say there in the translation in front of your eyes that there is none amongst you, uh, with you uh, amongst you, with whom is not attached from amongst the jinn, the devil, the shayateen. They the companions they said Allah messenger would you too thereupon he said yes But Allah helps me against him and so I am safe from his hand and he does not command me But for good shaitan command Muhammad How this happened Look, I can't even see the screen right now. It's lagging. I'm not I don't care if you see it or not or I can give you this is what you do, clearly. my friend. I don't know my friend, about your channel. stop, stop, you, but... stop, stop doing that. You can see it. Otherwise, why are you are calling me? How you learned about me? You were, you know, you you can watch it. And here we go. This is this is the this is the link. I'm posting the link in the in the screen. Click at the link and read it. Muhammad, he said that his shaitan committed and he commanded him and he submit. Shaitan is a Muslim. Iblis. Shaitan is a Muslim. Read it. Read it. It says Shaitan is a Muslim. That's because because Shaitan, what? As you know, is it please? My friend, Shaitan converted to Islam. Oh, hold on, hold on. Shaitan converted to Islam. You know the story of the police. I know every it's story. You know, just mention to me it's three words. I will hit you, my friend. Say to me any three words, I will hit you with a story you never heard before. I am a Christian prince. I am a Wicca Islam, Wicca Bidya of Islam. So don't, talk, don't go there. You see, I keep jumping with you. You change topic from topic to topic to topic. Wherever you go, I spank you. You haven't even let me so, put a topic No, out. I didn't. you did not answer. You want to go back to zero. Let's go back to zero. You, deny you said, you said, you said, you They're said that we dying. Christians believe in a human sacrifice, but the fact it's your Muslims who believe in that. Christian women have no babies. The family is dead. My friend, Muhammad, Muhammad have All no right. babies. It means Muhammad is dead. Is that right? Christian countries. Do Muhammad dying. have babies? Do Why Muhammad have babies? Why? Do Muhammad have babies? Muhammad did have babies. Yes. If, well, how he can have babies if he cannot? If he, he have, I don't have a penis. <laughs> well, the Quran says so. You want to show you the verse? No, I don't. I want you to answer my question. Well, I'm I answering you. How the Quran? Are you are you saying Allah is lying? The Quran saying that a man he said to Muhammad, "You cannot have kids, and your penis is cut off." Well, he had kids. So where is the kids of Muhammad? What are you talking about? Muhammad never have kids. <sighs> this is why he adopts. This is why he adopts. This is why specific. he adopts a person. You His name. You can't answer. Did you Muhammad adopt? Christian did Muhammad adopt? Did Muhammad adopt a person? His name is Zaid. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Did he adopt him because he have kids or because he cannot have kids? People adopt for many reasons. Oh, nice okay. Guy. What is the reason of Muhammad to adopt? Give me a reason. You know who couldn't. You know who couldn't adopt is the Catholics because the church wanted to My get friend, all the money. You are, in, in you, are, you are just all a right? kid. You are just a kid, and you, I have no time for kids. Let your dad call, call me. All right. Everything the Muslims they accuse us with is what they have. It is their religion is dying. It is their lands is dying. It is their economy is dying. 
They are desperate leaving their land because they don't want Islam. They don't want to be Muslims. And yet they say Christianity is dying. Where is Christianity is dying, my friend? Christ, Christ is a church, is a 12 men, not 12 billion. If there's only 12 men in this earth, the church is a strong. We are more than 3 billion and having babies will not make more Christians, you stupid Abdul. I can take you to Mexico and you will see one Mexican woman, she can give birth to babies more than all Muslim women together. Four in the shoulder, two in the chest, one holding the skirt, five holding her, 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 her broom. What are you talking about? They are proud about something which is nothing. I mean, it, it, even animals can have sex and have babies. But none of the babies knows what Islam is about. Go to Europe and see the Muslim girls in the night club. Number one business they do for a living is prostitution. What Europe? What Muslims? Where is the Muslims in Europe? Even in your country, you cannot have Sharia Allah. Who is the stopping the Muslim from having Sharia Allah in Egypt? The Muslims. Libya, Muslims. Morocco, Muslims. Tunisia, Muslims. Syria, Muslims. Jordan, Muslims. Muslims don't want Islam. Otherwise, you should have Sharia Allah. Why you want to leave the law of God, which is your God, and take the law of a man if you are proud about it? Obviously, you are not proud. You are ashamed of it. How many Muslim countries they are practicing the Islamic law? Where are they? Even Pakistan does not. Hypocrites. The biggest Islamic country in the world in Indonesia. Go and see how big the night clubs there. Go and see sex industry. Go and see the Muslim girls going and working in the in the Middle East. Poor, poor Indonesian, they bring them for sex slavery. Go and see girls brought from Al Bosnia to work as sex slaves in the Gulfs. This is what Muslims do to Muslims. Go and see what they are doing to the Syrian Muslims. And instead of donating to them, give them houses, they rape their children and they force the young girls to marry from them in order to give them shelter. This is the truth, my friend. In Germany, they give you free food. Those are the kuffar. In Jordan, they put you inside the camp as monkeys. In Germany, you can walk free. In Islamic countries, they put you inside the camp. The camp, and guys. Let me show you what this guy who is speaking about Islam is growing. Let me show you what he's saying to me in Arabic. The vagina of your mother. <laughs> you don't let your guests talk. You coward liar. You are the one who will never answer anything. You keep changing topic like a monkey. But I'm not surprised. When the, when the Christians came to your prophet to debate him, do you know what he said exactly what he did? Bring your wives, I bring my wives. Bring your children, I bring my children. Bring your goat, I bring my goat. And let us invoke Allah to curse the one is lying. What an idiot. Invoke God to curse the one is lying. They want to debate you. This is how you debate? Curse him party? And you just did that. The coward is your prophet who slaughtered 900 Jews after they put their weapon. After they put their weapon. Look how coward he is. This is who is your prophet. And this is how we do it. I hope you guys are enjoying your time here. And if you do not know who I am, I'm a Christian prince. Um, I do not know much about Islam. And uh, I never debated a Muslim and he did not destroy me. I bought uh, a lot of a glue because each time a Muslim, he called me, he turned me into pieces and I have to spend like three hours after that to glue myself together. As you see, each time a Muslim, he called me, I don't know what to say. I'm out of words. I don't know what to say. The Muslim, they never change the topic. They are very consistent. They don't jump like a monkey from a branch to branch. No, 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 no. It's the Christians. They keep running away from the debate. 
you Christians believe in a human sacrifice well is it your God who said to Abraham sacrifice your son you idiot huh isn't it your God he order he order Cain and Abel the sons of Noah the son, the son of Adam to sacrifice for Allah sacrifice blood this is the first man this is Islam I mean where do you want to go Wherever you go, I'm going to spank you. Now, this Abdul, he have no idea. He's talking to who? And look, he called me a coward. You don't let your guests speak. Speak about what? To call me to say to me, uh, Europe is dying. This is my, my, my topic. And if Europe is dying, why you are dying to go there? You must be an idiot. You must be so desperate. You, 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 you just prove to us that your countries are the dead one to the point you are coming to a dying country. The Christian women don't have babies. Do you have babies? What is your babies? Are you sure they are your babies? Aisha, she used to do breastfeeding, feeding for everybody to come into the house. Maria, the cop, she got the bread net. And obviously, Muhammad cannot have kids. And Aisha, she said to him, don't you see, he don't look like you. I told you one million times. So he sent one of his men to kill her cousin because they accuse him that he is the one made her bread net. Can you make babies? This is what you are proud about. You can have babies. We can have babies more than you. A lot more than you. <laughs> by the way i'm i'm thinking to get married and like uh, have a christian prince junior junior one junior two junior three and then you know you muslims you will be unhappy imagine if i have like a bunch of babies and they open christian prince junior one chat junior two and you know you, you will see what will happen do you want me to have babies is that how you prove your religion you can have babies but your babies, they are homeless. 20, 30% of a criminals in jail, they are Muslims in Europe. Okay, you have babies, where do they go? It's a proof of failure. Because if you Muslims can have a baby, that means you can have a family. But when your family end in the wrong place, obviously your family is not successful. Otherwise, can you explain to me why the high percentage of Muslims end in the wrong place? And they stay there. They don't repent. They try to divert the, the, the topic. Talk about anything, but don't talk about Islam. This is the point. You hurt Islam when you talk. We don't like it. So what we do? We start talking about anything, anything. It doesn't matter what it is, but don't talk about Islam. And this is what the Muslims, they want. And this is why they don't like me. I don't allow them to play games with me. You cannot. It's impossible. There is one thing you need to learn about me, Muslims. Wherever you go, you will lose. For very simple reason. I have my Lord with me. And if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Not because I know a lot about Islam. Yes, I know. You know, I know a lot about this garbage. But I have the Lord who always speak. He always guide us. He always tell us, give us the answers. Our tongue speaking for him, for his glory. You speak for the devil. When I say to you how your prophet says that shaitan command him to do good, you have no answer. Do you know why? Because you are the same as your prophet. Shaitan command you. My Lord, he command the devil. He command the shaitan. He don't receive commands from the devil.
what kind of religion this religion is it is nothing but a stupid cult what kind of religion promise people that when you go to heaven God will give you endless penis what you will do with endless penis your wife is next to you and your penis in China I mean who is the donkey to believe in this do I need to be a genius to know that this is obviously an idiot making fun of all, all of you? Imagine you are in New York and you receive a phone call like -da 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 -da. Hello? Uh, sorry? Uh, translation, this is the police station from Beijing. Please move your penis. It is blocking the forbidden city door. Endless penis. I mean, this is need endless imagination. This is need endless vagina. This is need endless stupid. This is need an endless donkey brain to believe in endless penis. Flying donkey, sexy donkey have a bracelet. I, donkey wearing bracelet. Why? She have a date? Unbelievable. Sometimes I feel like I want to convert to Islam, but something holding me. And that thing, I think it is the English penis. <laughs> imagine, imagine, guys, you have English penis, and by mistake, it goes to the jungle of Amazon. And all the snakes and mosquitoes of Amazon are having fun with it. I mean, this is really something. That is so beautiful. I'm, think, I'm thinking about it right now. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You are here and your penis in the jungle of the Amazon. And you know, imagine if, you're, if the penis go in the river of the Amazon, and those fish, what they call them, the one they eat uh, meat, you know, what they call them, the, the sharp teeth one, they are they are doing their job. Unbelievable. I don't know. For me, each time I read the prophet saying something, I feel I am convinced. Like, what about the prophet promising me I will marry a woman, she looked like a jellyfish. Isn't it amazing? It's my dream. To have a woman, I can see through her bones. You know, imagine you are in the beach and women walking in front of you, not wearing bikini, wearing nothing. Who did the bikini anyway? You see through the bones. I mean, look how beautiful. Oof, oof, let me turn the fan on. This is so hot, man. Bones? You will see through the marrow of her bones? Obviously. Muhammad is not under black magic when he is saying that. Obviously, Muhammad is totally having his full brain functioning when he said that. There's nothing wrong with this. It's very normal. Everybody likes to see women with bones. Very beautiful. Very amazing. It's a dream of every Arab man. I, I will give you, I will help you to imagine. I will help you, just, I will help you. All right. My friend, in the heaven of Allah, we are going to have this. Let me put it for you in the screen. But please don't get excited. I know you cannot wait, especially if you are a Muslim. According to the hadith, this is exactly what we will see in heaven. Any Muslim have an idea? How beautiful is that? Hmm? I I'm, I you know I cannot really I cannot keep this picture in front of me because I'm afraid I'm going to be tempted very much. This is exactly what Muhammad is saying. 
This is exactly what the prophet of the Abdul is saying. We will get women like those. This is so beautiful. Allahu Akbar, brother. I mean, this is astonishing. And you are questioning if the prophet is the pro obviously is the prophet. I mean, can't you see? Only prophet of gods they can make a promise like this. If we go back to the hadith, just to compare between the picture and the hadith to see if it is really what it says. Where is the hadith? Uh, where is the hadith? Okay, hold on. I think we have many pages open. Yeah, here we go. This is the hadith. Read with me. Everyone will have two wives from the Huris. Brother Tita, when we go to the heaven, brother, we are going to have a lot of Huris. And those Huris, they are very special. And one of the unique about the Huris, first of all, they will not ask for your credit card. Never ask for your credit card. They are very, very, very satisfied. Secondly, they are going to be so beautiful to the point they are transparent. Yes, they are transparent. The same as the glass. And you will see the marrow of their bones, brother. I mean, that's... That's amazing. The marrow of the bones will be seen, of their legs, will be seen through the bones and the flesh. Oh, I cannot wait. I want to go. I truly, truly, I want to go to heaven. The heaven of Allah cannot be imagined. But the Prophet of Allah, he gave us an opportunity to take a peek. What about this one? Look at this one. Unbelievable. Hey, this is a very hot position. That is something, man. Oh, boy. Those are the hoodies. By the way, she is going to wear high heels like this. Is it really what will happen? I mean, this is so fantastic. I'm truly, truly convinced that Islam is the only true religion. If Muhammad is not the true prophet, how he knew this and how he promised us such a thing, he must be true prophet. He must be. Look at this position, man. By the way, if you notice with me, inside her belly, there is a McDonald's McDonald sandwich. And this is one of the benefits of those women to see through. Now we know where our food is gone. Like your wife, she go to the kitchen, she eat your food, and she come back to the bedroom and you ask her, did you eat? She say, no. Uh, did you? So where is the food is gone? I saw nothing. Where is the shrimp is gone? I, I saw no shrimp. What about the fish? Now they cannot hide it, my friend. We see everything inside the belly. You see all the poopoo -poo with details. But it's going to be white and black, I, I guess. And you are telling me Muhammad is not a prophet? What's wrong with you? Do we have any Abdul would like to call us? Huh? Don't forget, by the way, those, like many of you, I don't know why people, they don't do review of my books. You see, uh, Six and Allah, many of you already had the book, but very few, they are doing review. I don't know why. I mean, should we ask you really to do a review, please? Every one of you who have the book, don't forget to make a review, only if you review. And don't say it's wonderful unless it is wonderful. Say it what it is. If you bought any of my books, please make a review about them. All right? Uh, and honest review. Don't do what the Muslims do. Don't say it's amazing, beautiful, blah, 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 you know, unless it is really good. Uh, you know, the Muslim Abdul, they go and make review, fast review of a book they never read. Like the guy who asked me to send him a copy so he can expose my lies. I mean, the guy already, he was telling people about, I am a liar and my books is lying. And now he's saying to me, well, send me a books 
send me your books so I can expose your lies. So how are you exposing my lies if you never saw my books? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and if you want to buy the books, by the way, it's better if you order it from your own uh, Amazon country, uh, like, uh, like Amazon, Germany, France, because that will give you free shipping, as I understand. Uh, any Abdul? Yeah, my last book published, it was Six and Allah. It's volume number one and volume number two. Volume number one is kind of a, a very good introduction to know about the Arabia and Six in Arabia. And then we go to Six in Islam. And then in volume number two, we go deep in sexuality and Islam. Uh, but remember, those, those two books speak about nothing but sex sex and Allah nothing else all right but everything there everything there is coming with reference everything as usual my books is a library of reference any Abdul yeah well you know it is not say R rated it is about sex, but we are not talking dirty still, you know what I mean? But we are saying things as it is. It's not like we are speaking dirty there. All right? Like, I don't know, like, until now, not even one, like many of you get this German book, the second one, but none of those made a review in Amazon.com. Most of the review in Amazon that uh, German, GR, you know? No, my friend, the books it, uh, to, to Australia, they don't cost that much because now it's shipped by Amazon. Maybe if you bought them a long time ago, and there's no way it's going to be $200. I mean, what $200? Uh, if you order in, in Amazon, uh, Amazon is a printing. This is, this is a printed locally. You see, the one is doing the shipping is Amazon. So they ship it from your local country. This is why the shipping is for free. All right. Before I used to do the shipping, and this is why it costs really too much because uh, shipping cost is expensive. But Amazon, they are offering free shipping, so you are paying only for the uh, for the book. Yeah, they print on demand. Thank you, and that make it a lot cheaper. Do we have any Abdul? And those who, uh, you know, they, they like to be in touch with the, what we do and the update about uh, when we do live broadcast, you can subscribe to our Facebook or you can, you know, join, join us here in uh, Patreon. You can subscribe there and always I post in advance uh, in this uh, page which is for donation that I will do broadcast uh, etc hour today or tomorrow now do we have any Abdul here anyone can I debate as a Christian Orthodox debate what my friend you debate you want to debate me barrow barrio you want to debate me about uh, you as a you as a christian orthodox what you want to debate me about christian france is a christian orthodox protestant and catholic what does that mean i mean all of you are different their differences is not important for me the important is that all of us we believe in the crucifixion we believe in the father the son the holy spirit we believe that there is no salvation but by jesus we believe that he's coming back we believe that he is the alpha and the omega we believe he is the word of god who became a man we believe that he is over sin he is victorious he is almighty he is our god 
we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit as the Trinity, and the rest is not important for me. So you want to tell me you are Orthodox, this is your business. You want to tell me you are Catholic, this is your business. You want to tell me you are Protestant, I don't care. What I care for, if you believe in a true belief or not. The differences between all those three, as I see it, it is politics. The devil divided you and made you divided. Christ is about unity. And Christian Prince, he served the God of unity. We believe in one Lord, and the Lord, he is our unity. Anything else is not from God. Anyone bring the vision is bringing the devil. Anyone bringing unity is speaking of the Lord. I mean to that. The Orthodox are my brothers and sisters. The Catholic are my brothers and sisters. The Protestants are my brothers and sisters. And your differences mean nothing for me. Have no value actually for me. Because it's not really important. Any Abdul? You know, and by the way, if you see the comment, if you see people who, who speak to me, you will see sometimes a Catholic person is upset from me. Sometimes you see a Protestant person upset from me. Sometimes you see an Orthodox person. I don't care, really. For me, I say what I believe is right. I don't take a side. I believe that I should not be neither a Catholic or a Protestant or Orthodox. I should be only Christian. And Christian mean someone who follow not a bishop, not a pope, not a minister, not a priest, not a man, but he follow the Messiah. All names are sinners except his name. You you put your your trust in a man, including me. That's mean you are a fool. You trust only one person. His name is Jesus the Christ. Anything else is not to be trusted. Sinners. They cannot save sinners. So my friend, save yourself from names. Don't give yourself a title. Give yourself one name. You see, I called myself a Christian prince because I could not find a better name. I'm proud because of his name, not because of mine. And I am a prince, for he made us the children of God. I have no better name to use for myself than his name. I don't want to be anything else. I advise all the Christians, and I say all of you, which mean Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, to be, you know, to love each other, to forget about your differences, and not to let people divide you. There's wonderful people who they are Catholic, Christians, they love the Messiah more than you can even believe. Maybe you don't agree with them with some stuff, but they don't agree with you some stuff too. However, all of us, we agree in the important, and the important is more than all the differences. Don't do what Taliban does. Don't do what the Muslims do. This guy is a kafir. It's not your business. Jesus said, whoever believe in me and die will live. That is the words of Jesus, whoever. He never say a Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. It's not, what the, it's not the name you carry. It's who you are. He said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So you can call yourself all the names you wish. Still, you will not go there. His followers belong to him, not followers of sect. So follow the Messiah, don't follow names. And I will leave the rest for you to accept or not. What do you think about paganism? I do not need to speak of it. I think every Christian refuse it. Do we have any Abdul want to say anything? Any Abdul?
No Abdul? Look like we are short of Abdul these days. And the one who call us, they have no answer as usual. Anyway, let us, uh, let us uh, uh, guys, don't forget, please, to subscribe to our channels there. You will find the info to contact me. Uh, the One of the brothers is posting there. And if you like to help us in the nation, please do so. Your help is needed always. So we can sponsor whatever we do. And what we do is really very important. And I really appreciate your help and your support. Uh, there's one thing always we need to remember, that a Christian person, he should not be inspired by a man. He should be inspired by God. And God is not someone, you know, he speak too much, but he say nothing. He's not someone, he confuse you. God is, word is very simple. If you read, if you read the, the, the teaching of the Messiah, it's so amazing. You can be a farmer and you love it. You can be a PhD holder and you go, you know, like you be amused with it. And this is what make Christ an amazing person for me because he can reach out to me. He spoke a story 2,000 years ago, but yet this story, I can live it today. It will never be outdated. We do not need a thousand translation or interpretation to understand the statement of Jesus. I do not need to be a scholar to understand what salvation is about when the Messiah speak. We do not need a book made as a book of Shakespeare with rabbi music because this is not what God is about. God is about guiding you and loving you and reaching out to you. Not about giving me a book and this book nobody can understand to the point after one million scholars trying to explain the book, they say at the end, Allah knows best. We don't want such a book. And we don't have such a book. One sentence of the teaching of the Messiah is better than all the books of the wise men in the world. Love your enemy. Imagine. If the word practice such a sentence, not a book, just one sentence of Jesus, love your enemy, the word today will be heaven. Heaven, literally heaven. Just by practicing a sentence, that is the Messiah. Two words can change the whole universe. Imagine those two words being said 2,000 years ago. Today, it's hard to believe that somebody would say to you, love your enemy. Look at the word today, how ugly it is. Dirty politics, war, countries want to eat each other alive. Bloodshed. They create wars just to sell weapons. They destroy countries just to get some oil. They destroy nations just to, to, to build a mosque. The human being lost his mind. The devil is destroying them. Everything is for sale. The brain, the religion, the value, everything. You can't even say what you believe in because you became hypocrite. You're afraid to say something and somebody will be offended. So how you can be truthful? How I can be truthful when I'm worried about saying the truth? And I cannot say the truth. But why I cannot say the truth? Because I decide not to say it. Nobody can force you not to say. Or to say or not to say. You make the decision. I'm so glad that we have people listening to us from around the world and we have like 
number two country listen to me is from Indonesia you believe it number one is USA number two is Indonesia hard to believe because people in Indonesia they are really sick of Islam and they are desperately in need to explore this cult and to learn about it and I'm so happy to have all the Indonesian people here listening to me and coming to this channel for sure I'm happy to see all other countries but it makes me feel really good when I see that the biggest Islamic country is a major people who listen and watch my videos and learn from it I want to say thank you guys for being here today I hope we have a good time feel free to download my videos post them on your websites you can cut them pieces but don't play with them uh, uh, somebody sent me a link of somebody uh, uh, of Muslim sending like uh, Christian Prince saying the Catholic worship stones etc be careful you know uh, Muslims they can fabricate they can cut from my words and they put it together all right be careful from such you know you know exactly how that I am the last one who divide the Christians I am the last one who will say uh, things is not true too you know uh, they can they can change the meaning of the words or what I'm saying by just cutting you know the voice and putting it together for me I don't I reject people to pray in front of pictures I reject to pray in front of statues I believe that anything is not biblical should not be followed and that is very simple but doesn't mean if somebody is doing that he is no Christian no more I believe he is doing wrong as simple as that but all of us we do wrong and doing wrong if doing wrong will make us let us say not Christians then all of us not Christians then every human being is a sinner all of us we commit sin and those who do wrong at least in this point they are not doing wrong because they are bad that wrong because they love Jesus to the point they want to see him but I believe it's not needed uh, so I want to say thank you all guys for being here uh, I hope I hope today we learn something good I hope the Muslims they learned that Islam is very stupid and we are not here to insult the Muslims we are here to expose Islam the Muslims is the last you know for me to I'm not really interested to insult anyone uh, I like to see the Muslims leave in this cult we love them and really we care for them and we don't want anyone to spread hate against anyone Muslims are people like us you know they they have no fault except you know they they are born in a, a family is a Muslim I mean you might be yourself a Muslim if you are born of a Muslim family what you can do so let us think about it in a different way that they are people like us they can be loving they can be nice people they can be etc uh, religion have a bad effect in some of the Muslims if they decide to follow it but there is many Muslims they know nothing about Islam this is why they can be very nice and kind people to you so Islam is a is a dangerous cult if you decide to follow it Islam is harmless if you are just a Muslim by name so for me I am worried about a Muslim who believe it truly in Islam because that will be the aggressive one and he is the one might practice what is written in the Quran and the Quran order to kill to rape to steal anyone or the money or the blood of anyone is not a Muslim otherwise a person who is Muslim by name is not really something to worry about for me because we don't practice Islam the one who make me worry is the practice one those are the ones you should be worried about uh, so I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and uh, remember that's uh, always when we are here uh, try not to bring the vision otherwise I will ban you it doesn't matter who you are anyone here he start insulting any Christian sect you are not welcome I don't care who you are if you donate to me go stop your donation I hear 
I am here to bring unity between the Christians so we can show the Muslims that we are not following evil spirit because the vision is evil calling you know a brother in Christ who believe in Christ bad names is not right we believe in one Lord and he is our Savior be loving in your heart show Christ in your heart if you cannot love a person who is a person who loved the Messiah how you can love anyone right if I cannot even love someone here because he's a Catholic I mean a person who loved the Messiah who worshiped the Messiah who prayed to the Messiah and yet you cannot love him so how what is a Christian about you nothing if the Messiah orders us to love even the enemies and yet you cannot even love your brother who loved the Messiah what a shame what the devil are made out of us then don't make the devil my friend make you an evil person be good as God he ordered you to be all right be good fight the temptation of division fight the stupidity inside you because sometimes we we, we uh, uh, you know we we love division we fight for it because I'm gonna prove that you are wrong you know I'm right and you, you are a Catholic I'm Protestant and you know I mean this is foolish if you want to correct someone correct him with love correct him don't say to him you are a Kafir don't say to him you are going to go to hell that's not right who are you to send people to hell are you playing God don't do that that is a big sin I said many times I don't like stupid comments CP you are sound like one word order <laughs> Lord have mercy yeah one word order yeah this is what they do you see the second you don't speak the way they like you to speak the devil from inside them speak here we go I became one word order here we go prophets Christian press <laughs> he claimed to be prophet and he want to make one word order and he's sponsored by the CIA Yeah, whoever that person, I just blocked that person. Anyway, uh, be loving, be giving, and giving, you know, is not about giving money. You can be given in anything, you know. Be given by nice smile, given by nice kind words, be given by showing that you are different with the Christ. You go in the bus, you see an old woman stand up, ask her to sit down, be, be a Christian person one of the things i learned and it make me feel different that i like to help people you will see how much it make you feel really good inside you it will bring happiness you think maybe yes you are helping others but the fact you are helping yourself because inside you you will have a happiness is hard to describe always think about how you can help someone next to you not don't even wait for him to ask for it don't during my trip to Europe a Muslim woman old Muslim woman she got inside the bus nobody stood up I was the only one who stood up and gave her my chair she's an old woman in the age of my mother and I loved the look in her face when she was smiling looking at me and I have the cross in my neck and it would be very funny if she knew that I am a Christian prince. However, for me, it was very blessing moment to help someone, an old woman, regardless who is she. She is a Muslim, she is a Hindu, she is a Christian, it doesn't matter. You do what your Lord asked you to be. Be good like him. It's a project to work in, to be good. You cannot be good for only God is good but be good like your God which means work in it 
day by day and every day it get better a person who think only of himself is selfish he will love no one and he will never know what love mean fight your selfishness you see those who practice yoga they learn nothing but how to be selfish this is how it is that you are the center of the world you forget about everything else don't be one of those you are not the center of the world unless you are giving love because then everybody around you will reflect the love you gave back if you are a person who have hate inside him the hate will come from you and will go back to you with the Christ you are a different person I see that everywhere I go and it is the best way actually to live and to be happy nobody can be happy as somebody he love everybody because simply he love everybody you know imagine how beautiful it is you know it's like okay <laughs> I love everybody so I have no problem and you know the Muslim they think I hate them I never hate a Muslim I, I will never hate them I hate the lies I hate the devil I hate to see you going to hell my friend I'm not against you this is why I spend my hours and my time speaking to you screaming shouting etc losing my voice just to show you how stupid this cult but what I can do if you decide to be stupid yourself this is your business I cannot give you a brain God gave you one use it if you decide not to use it well you will lose it anyway God is good and may the Lord bless you all and I will see you maybe tomorrow stay tuned subscribe to my channel and you will know you can subscribe either on Amazon sorry in uh, uh, YouTube battery on Facebook Twitter wherever you wish and minds.com and then you will be notified when we have a broadcast thank you may the Lord bless you all and until we see you soon again maybe tomorrow again and again we say Christ is Lord Islam is false and there's no name better than his name and by his name we wish you a very enjoyable evening and very good time with your family and yourself find peace within yourself so you can give peace if you don't have it you cannot give it don't be the same as the Muslims who have no peace inside them this is why they cannot have peace peace my friend coming from one place that is love and God is all about love follow love don't follow hate follow unity don't follow division follow someone he teach you to love not someone teach you to hate Christ is Lord Islam is false and we see you tomorrow I hope soon again bye bye and good night take care